Now entering Nerdist.com. True it. With a guy named Kevin. True it. And this other guy, Steve. True it. From the TV and the movies. And now this podcast straight. True it. They're going to get chewy. True it. They might even get me. True it. But they're going to get funky on this podcast thing. What's up, man? What's up? What is up? What's up? Oh, what are you eating today? Uh, I'm eating a uh, picadillo. Picadillo. My wife's picadillo. It's right. cold. No, I heated it up. I don't know if you saw what I just did there. I heated Isn't picadillo supposed to be cold? No, that's pico de gallo. Oh, okay. What's the difference? Pico de gallo is like, <laughs> is salsa. Here's here's the, the, this white yeah. uh, What's American. What's the difference between the potatoes and I'm the white the, American and potatoes? That's what I would ask picadillo you. Picadillo and pico de gallo. <laughs> I literally was getting those two mixed up. Yeah. Pico Bullshit. de gallo is like salt that you put yeah, on your delicious. nacho chips. Yeah, it's got tomatoes in it, Tortilla onions. Chips. Yeah. It's cold. Yeah, yeah, it's cold and it's refreshing. <laughs> That's Pic- what I was eating. That's what I was eating. That's yours? That's okay. what I was eating. Okay. Picadillo is a Hispanic dish. I guess pico de gallo is also, but okay. it's uh, it's ground beef. Okay. Seasoned to the dickens. Okay. It's gotten the dickens seasoned out in of it. In what? In, uh... Oh, you know, I, I, you know, the Hispanics, they don't share that in Oh, I see. Okay. That's my wife's okay. secret recipe. Okay. <laughs> I'm serious. The you know that like my my wife and her mom. Yeah. Like my wife is so irritated with her with her mom. Her mom. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Because her mom's a great cook. My wife is a great cook. Okay. Yeah. Her okay. mom's a great. <laughs> Dude. We can tell. We the always story. bring up. We always bring that story we up. Though. Tell the clam You tell how great story. your wife is. And there's the one time I went over and had Dude, she made clam chowder. She's listening, Kev. I know. Sorry. Okay. Never mind. I heard you, motherfucker. <laughs> we all entitled to one mishap. <laughs> Uh, I'm coming over there. So, so, and I'm bringing my cooking knife with me. <laughs> so, uh, she and her mom, like her mom has all these recipes. Right. Cuban recipes or? Cuban recipes. Yeah, and yeah. All, but also like, you know, a spaghetti recipe sure. that's not Cuban. This is delicious. Sure. You know, it's like, and it's easy. Potatoes. To, yeah, potatoes. She's got all that. You know, she cooks great Thanksgiving okay. meal. Okay. But like, you know, my wife is raising children now. My wife will be like, sure. Could you like give me that fucking recipe for the, the pico de gallo? Sure. And and uh, or picadillo, right? And uh, and her mom won't give it to her. Like her mom won't share recipes with her daughter. Is that because she is not internet savvy? Because I found that about some kind my, of my well, wife. No, 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 the mom, the mom, right? Because what it is is a lot of these uh, ladies have their recipes and they're on like ripped pieces of paper and parts of napkins and they're tucked into folders. Yeah, and so then it becomes difficult for them. So now what my my mom does. When I ask her for something, she'll take a picture of that ripped up thing that was stuck in her cupboard yeah. and then send it to me, and then you'll have it. No, so you're, and your mom's a beautiful person. Right. But this is more of like she just, she's taken she's those recipes secretive. to the grave. Well, that's silly, though. It is silly. And yeah. I, tell, I tell my mom, I'm like... That's the joy of those recipes is sharing them with your kids when they're old enough to make them. That's what I, I'm like, wait a second, wait a second. She right. won't... And she's like, the fear is... Here the fear. The fear is, yeah. Here the fear. <laughs> yeah. The fear is that when she give me the recipe, we won't need her no more. Oh. Yeah. So it keeps, like, her, keeps her relevant. She wants, yeah, she mm. wants us to want to go there for Thanksgiving. And like sure. that's, I mean, that's her Thanksgiving dinner is a major, major okay. attraction. Okay. You know. For, but still, you got to share the recipes. Yeah, share the recipes. So she wouldn't share the picadillo uh, recipe? Recipe? No, so that, that but that's what I mean in general. It's like my wife doesn't really tell me what seasoning is in this, right. nor do I ask, frankly. Sure, I just know it. T- it's like sure, you know when you like it's like chicken neck. Well, it could be. Oh, uh, it's like a spice, a Santeria spice. Except, <laughs> well, that that's more likely that there's some Santeria spice on there, like some fucking voodoo, right. some voodoo powder, <laughs> which also keeps me under her spell. Exactly. You know. Exactly. And keep and and enables her to hear what we're yeah. talking about right now. She's also like 135 years old, and it keeps her yeah, beautiful. She, she's like uh, Melisandre <laughs> on Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. Like she takes off her fucking hoop earrings, and she's a, a hundred thousand year old lady. But she makes a great picadillo, right? So, uh, so, so I just had it like seasoned yeah. ass ground beef, mm. and the, and like tons. The key to me is the olives. Okay, there's tons of olives. Black in there. or green or green. Yeah, and then she af- she pours all the olives from the jar in it, and then yeah. just dumps the olive juice in it. Oh, okay, and that's what you taste like when you you get some of that ground seasoned ass ground beef. Right, and then it's like it's like a missile. 
from right. I'm drooling as I talk. I know, really. You spit on the microphone. It's a, it's a missile of, of flavor from right field. Okay. That, that comes and it hits you in the side of the jaw. Okay. And it's all that olive juice in there. And, oh, man. It's good. Uh, it's oh, dump no, inducing. It's because, like, you see. It's you dump see, inducing, it looks like. <laughs> like, well, like, like, uh, so I brought it over in a Tupperware. Yep. And there's about, what would you say? That's a centimeter pool. Yeah, of uh, of greasy flavored. Yeah. It's grease. like when you it's like when you have the Tupperware and then you finish it and there is that that orangey like residue that stains the Tupperware. Yeah, it stains plastic. Yeah, well, I <laughs> have chugged that. Like I might even chug that if you if you dare okay. me chug it, I'll chug it. I'm not gonna. I don't want to. I don't want to because it's that delicious. Too. I know, but you know, I'm, what'd you chew? I love the Mexican food. I went to a Mexican restaurant the other night with my family, and. Uh, Always, I'm a, I order beer. You know, I'm a beer guy. I'll drink a, I'll drink a beer with dinner. Yeah. Instead, I got a margarita rocks for the first time in a long time. What? It was delish. <laughs> this is like the time that we went to Gladstone's and you ordered the rosé wine. <laughs> and we were all drinking beer. And I was like, what? <laughs> Kevin, you don't have the thought bubble. Like, Kevin never uh, drinks <laughs> rosé wine. I know. So Kevin never drinks a margarita. I've never seen you drink a margarita. I, I, I realized that. I realized that. But I had it. It was fucking great. The night it was hot. It was like a hundred degrees. Yeah, I like. I go frozen margarita. I know my wife did blended. Yeah, I love a fucking frozen margarita. Yeah, I know or pina colada. That's too. Uh, I think that's good, but it's too like desserty to me. I only do. I only ever do pina colada by a pool in the sun or on yeah. the beach in the sun. But if I'm just gonna have a drink with dinner. It's that's too. It's too like smoothie. Yeah, you know. For yeah, me. but like a like that's like a good frozen margarita is more like icy. Yeah, as opposed to creamy. I guess so, yeah. Wait, did you tell me what you were chewing? Oh, uh, watermelon. <laughs> what does Mexican food have to do with watermelon? I don't know. <laughs> okay. But that's what I was chewing way back when we were talking we were chewing. Okay, you chew that. Because it's, it's, uh, it's so summery. It's so, like, it's so hot right now. Like, the, yesterday was the weirdest fucking weather in the world. Yeah. It was hot, and it was moist in, in California. And it rained for, like, a minute. Yeah, like, I walked outside, and it was, like, 100 degrees. I turned the pool filter off, and then I walked inside... And I was like, God, it's so fucking hot outside. And then my daughter was like, it's raining. And I was like, what? And I turned around, and it was fucking raining. Yeah. For like a minute. Yeah. It was like five-minute rain. It's like, you know, I felt And bad. then you went outside and it stunk. Oh, it's, it's stunk of post-rain? Yeah. It stunk of, of that post-rain heat. The funny thing, too, is that like in these parts, in, in Los Angeles, when it's humid like, like this, yeah. all the witches are like... It's earthquake weather. <laughs> That's the sign that an earthquake is coming. I guess that may be true, though. Why do the witches do that? I just mean all the people who, who <laughs> like, believe in... Like, my wife, for instance. Like, you know what, motherfucker, I heard? Yeah. You know what little birdie told me, motherfucker? <laughs> Say that when it's all humid like this, an mm-hmm. earthquake is coming. That's right. It's so hot that the earth breaks. <laughs> you know what? It's funny. Last week when the ghoul... Yeah, was over at my house. You told the story last week about playing chess and with we the ghoul. Were playing chess, right? My ghoul was mentioning to my wife that we talk about her on the podcast. Right? She knows that. Le- right? She knows that. Right? And she's like, "Yeah, they make fun of me like I'm a fucking character." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "You don't even know, honey. You don't even know. Like it's gotten it's gotten out of control. Like it used to be. Like I bet if we go back and listen to like the first fifty episodes." It's kind of like when you when like when you see like episodes of Moonlighting and Bruce Willis has all his hair and you're like, yeah. holy shit! Back then I thought he was bald. Right. <laughs> right. Now, yeah, he had a full head of hair compared to what he Right. Now. Right. And it's like I bet if you go and listen to those early episodes of, of chewing it, that's like that. My wife would be like, she, she's just talking like this, like with diamonds and rubies <laughs> and shit. And now I've got a full on like fucking gang. Here, here's oh, no, I'm just play devil's advocate. Yeah. The other side of that is, I feel there's a chance that we may have started to realize that she listens to the podcast. Yeah, and in our fear of her, yeah, we've pulled it back a little bit. You think we've pulled it back? Is that possible? I mean, I just said <laughs> earthquake, <laughs> like I did the full-on F, <laughs> right? Earthquake, right? Maybe I don't know. I told her that she, she was like, I was like, you know, it's evolved. Like it's gotten a little like now you are a full-on character. She's like, oh yeah, and I was like, yeah, and she's like, like what? <laughs> And I was like, I just, you know, I fucking ghetto you up a little bit. And she's like, shit. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Uh, well, before we go any further, uh, plugs. We got plugs. Let's do plugs real quick. Okay. Uh, Starting tomorrow, where are you? At the Chumash Casino. Okay, in California. In Santa Barbara. Oh, okay, great. 
And so you get a couple shows up there. Yeah, a couple shows up there. 11th and 12th. 11th and 12th at the Chumash Casino. Yeah. Steve Lemmy. And then the following week, 17th, 18th, and 19th at the Vermont Comedy Club in Burlington. Oh, Burlington. Burlington. Up in Burlington. Uh, the Magic Hat people are coming. Oh, they're going to come? Yeah, they're yeah, coming. Are they going to bring some beer? I sure hope so. Okay. Do they do a- go anywhere without beer? I don't think so. That's part of their M.O. And then uh, the week after that, you and I are are back together. Yeah. We're back on the road again, man. It's been a long time. We're going to be in Cincinnati at the Brew Ha Ha. Yep. That's on the 24th. It's a comedy festival. It's on the 24th, Thursday night, uh, August 24th. Then the 25th and 26th, we're going to head down to Lexington, Kentucky. We'll go to Comedy Off-Broadway. Mm-hmm. And we'll do four shows, two on Friday and two on Saturday. That's the 25th and the 26th. Yeah. Tickets are available now. Go to HerefordandLemmy.com. Go to Comedy Off-Broadway. You can get tickets there. Or you can go to the... The Vermont Comedy Club get tickets for Lemmy. Yeah. Um, okay. Those are the plugs. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else, Kev? Yeah. You and I, uh, like, we've taken probably like six weeks off from the road. Yeah. And the last, so the last shows we did, I'm gonna, say, I'm just gonna guess and say it was Charlotte. Might have been the last. Or you're right. I think it was Charlotte. And we said, okay, time to, you know, on Monday we're gonna get start getting in shape. Yeah. You know, we've been you know eating too much shitty food and, and drinking all this beer and stuff like that. Now we're going to start the regimen. And we agreed in advance that, that was going to be a difficult thing yes. to do. Summertime's a difficult time to do that due to the various cookout, barbecue, sure. beer, social type of activities. And, mm-hmm. you know, you said, okay, I'm, no, I'm, you just got to do it. I'm just going to crack down. Yeah. About a week and a half into it, you were like, how's it going? I said, fucking terribly. And, and I said, you too? And you were like, yeah, terrible. Yeah. How's it been going since then? Uh, it's been going all right, actually. I mean, I, I'm definitely healthier now. I haven't had a beer in a while. Uh, but no, I mean, I, you know, I've been doing two a days, man. Get out of here. Yeah. So what do you like? What's your regimen? I've been uh, running in the mor- uh, out, you know, in the morning yeah. in my hood. Yeah. And then on the treadmill at night. Okay. Like what time at night? It depends. Sometimes I'll do uh, like a pre-dinner, watch the Yankee game. Sometimes I'll do like a late after dinner. Uh, watch like a so TV you're show or something. Fucking calories. Trying to see that's you, you can do that because your kids are older. Yeah, like at five o'clock, I'm on. I'm on baby. I'm on kid duty. Yeah, uh, I've lost eight pounds. Really? Yeah. Do you remember that's last week? Pretty good. Your wife complimented you, me on how thin I looked. I, 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 oh yeah, she did. Yeah. Meanwhile, you were ripping Fat Jay. <laughs> well, Fat Jay. I mean, come on, he. He that <laughs> honestly, it's the fattest I've seen Jay in my life. <laughs> I I didn't feel that way, but I I. I but I you've been with him a lot. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't uh, disagree that that's the case, but I just don't I don't. And again, I not mean seeing that. It, wasn't seeing it. I mean it with all the respect in the world. Sure, because you've been there. I've been there. We've all been. There. We and we go through that because we tend to. Those of us, in the entertainment industry, in our group, yeah, uh, we live that kind of lifestyle where like we get in shape. But then also we have we go down these roads where like we're in situations where we're just eating shitty food and yeah. drinking a lot. If of you're writing or editing stuff. or whatever it is. Yeah. My point is, I love beer. <laughs> beer is so, that's what we're all coming around to here. Beer is so delicious. It is good. I can't stop drinking it. Yeah, the funny thing is, like um, you know, I've had a couple of barbecues or whatever at my house, and you know, everyone brings beer, and I buy beer, and you bring, beer, and you end up you end up with leftover beer, you mm. know. And so my refrigerator. Right now, my yeah. my secondary refrigerator I have in my garage, my beer refrigerator, yeah, yeah, is fucking packed full of beer. It's now it's, it's packed full of beer. It's a beer and meat refrigerator, no? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, it's my beer and meat refrigerator. I mean, but you like you do shit, Fred Flintstone style. Like if I I, I like you, to go to Costco. You're a Costco guy. That's right. I know if I go to that fridge at any given time, fuck the beer that we're talking about. Right. I'll open. Let, there's a there's probably a, a live cow in there, <laughs> there waiting for you to slaughter. There it. might be. We've been we've been whittling it down because we're going on vacation. So right. Uh, but there's you know there's there'll be some steaks in there. There's a shitload of beer though. Yeah. And you know what the other problem is? It's like uh, it's all bottled beer. Yeah. And I sh- my summertime I shift over to cans. You know what I mean? Yeah. For the pool, whatever it is. Yeah, I love canned beer. So there's like a. There's there's like three cases of bottled beer in my refrigerator. But you know what? All the, different kinds. You know what? Dark, light. But like uh, now, a lot of times those beers that are in there are the ones that you hate. I don't do that anymore. You, now I'm I just get rid of the ones I hate. You toss I just them. Chuck them. Yeah. But that's that's a very small group. That's like the wheat beer or any fruit flavored beers. Sure. Those go. Yeah. Everything else is in, is fun. It's good. I got dark beers. I got fucking IPAs. I got you name it. I got it in there. I think it's. But should a, we go get some right now? I think there's. I, you want to start drinking some beers, Lemmy? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I think. I think. Uh, it's a comforting feeling. 
Yeah. Knowing that your fridge is packed with beer. It is, but I'm on. I'm trying not to drink beer. I'm trying to lose some weight. Yeah. So, like, my brother came over the other day to go swimming with his wife, and I was pushing beers on them. Yeah. I was like, you know what? Don't like he brought he brought a case of beer over. Did you tell him not? And to? And I was like, take that thing, go put it back in your fucking car, bring it home. That's your beer. I bet you told him just like that too. I did. Like all unpleasant. I did. I was like, don't don't even open it. Just drink my beer, okay? <laughs> And he did, and he, you know, he made a nice little dent in it, and uh, an I was dent. happy. He yeah. made an Irish dent. Yeah, he made an Irish dent in that beer, I, and I was happy. I like, I like Pat. Like Pat's not afraid to put a dent. No, on a Sunday night. Yeah, yeah, he's not. He's fine with it. He doesn't have kids, and he's thin. He can do relatively. Is thin. he thin? He's uh, I don't know. I always I don't, I don't in my he, mind. I always picture him as thin. Like, I don't think he's. Thin I always anymore. picture him as the, my th- my thin little brother. But actually, I think, I think he's Fat Pat now. I think he might be Fat Pat, and I think I think my son called him Fat Pat the other day <laughs> to his face. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, he played Thin Kevin in Club Dread. He did. That's the thing. That's why I, th- I part of I think it, like in the scene in Club Dread for the Chew Crew, the scene in Club Dread where I hide under the bed with Britt, and uh, I have to make myself like mystically thin to get to fit under the bed. Mm. What we did is we, you know, the magic of movie shot me on the ground. Then we took literally took my T-shirt off, put it on Pat, who's the grip, yeah, who's on the grip crew, slid him into my spot, and since he's thin, he was thin Lars. Yeah. So that's the way I think of him. Yeah. He's not anymore. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> but the, he but listens to this too, you know. He'll, he'll, he knows it. He'll hear it. Pat knows it, and and not only that, but you know, here's the beauty about Pat. Yeah. Pat doesn't give a fuck. Okay. Pat doesn't give. He certainly doesn't give a fuck. When, Maybe when Maybe he's I crying say, on the inside. Maybe he's crying well, on the inside. Know, he's he's like uh, he, you know, he puts on it. Like when I say something, he's like, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> right. Pat's always been a punk. Like like when we used to work out with our trainer together, and he'd come yeah. over and like taunt the trainer, and the trainer would just make him vomit. Yeah. And we'd be like, You're so, Why are you doing that? Why are you telling, talking shit to yeah, the trainer? Yeah. That was the day that uh, he started working out with you and me and the trainer. Yeah. And we were playing in the softball league. Yeah. And the trainer was in the area, and he came by to hang out and check out the softball game. So we sit in the stands. Pat came by to check out the softball game. Yeah, he sat in the stands with the trainer, and then just pulled out a cigarette and lit it up and started smoking it. Yeah, next to the trainer, which you don't do. You don't do. You don't do that. No. And uh, the trainer, like his eyes, just went fucking wide, and he looked at Pat. And he's like, "Are you seriously smoking a cigarette next to me when I'm going to work you out tomorrow? Yeah, is that what's going on here? Yeah." And it didn't even phase no, Pat. No. He didn't even realize what he was doing. But that's no, he did. That's Pat's personality. <laughs> I don't man. think he did. He does. You know, you know, Pat. He's he's always he bucks authority. Like, and then what happened? He made him throw up the next. Yeah, time. Yeah, and he came, I remember you and I watching <laughs> Pat pulling our trainer in the harness. Yeah, he had that uh, the bungee cord sh- harness. Talking shit the entire way. Yeah, and then he collapsed. Yeah. Anyway, beer is delicious. It's delicious. It is. And and it's like I went to a concert this past. You did. Yeah, and also we've had a house guest. Okay, so, there's so you've been drinking a lot of beer? A lot of oh, so you, I thought you said you lost eight pounds. I did. Okay. I've been exercising like... In spite of yourself, you lost I've been pounds. exercising like crazy. Okay, got it. And watching my diet. Okay, yeah. And drinking and trying to drink like light beer. <laughs> it's like eating diet cake. I know, but you know what? I know, it's true. Uh, are you, what's the con? Are you going to talk about the concert or no? Oh, yeah, so I went to... Uh, I went to um, it was supposed to be a sack event. Kind okay. Of. It was supposed to. It was kind of. Was, and sack event is is your buddies, and you do like a secret activity club, secret right? activity club, right. sack. Where what you get these your old buddies together. So like you you say like you ha- you have a, an event. Yeah. You don't tell anybody what it is. You say sack event Saturday. Meet at my house, eleven a.m. Yeah. Dress warm. Right. <laughs> right. That's as much as you'll give. Sure. Or, you know, Saturday night. We're going Yeti hunting. Six o'clock. Could be. <laughs> okay. And everybody, you know, and. and <laughs> right. Because, you know, it's like when you have f- friends, especially in Los Angeles where you have to drive everywhere, you say, like, hey, you want to go to the Dodgers game? People are like, nah. <laughs> right. You're like, you, wa- you want to go, uh, you want to go do trapeze school? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> right, right. But if you say, like, it's a secret event, right. everyone's coming, you you're know, go- you you're going. Time, people are going. Yeah. And it's because it's, it's an event, it becomes right. an event. And so, um, so I had uh, Carrie Clifford and Paul Basie were at my house okay. a couple of weeks ago at the pool drinking beer. Okay. That they said, hey, we've got a, a cool thing for a couple. But do you want to know what it is or do you want to come? And like next Monday, we were like, no, let's do a sack. Okay. Let's keep it a surprise. Couple sack. Okay. Um, Cliffy, couple sack. I like the sound of that. 
A couple sack. Cliffy had to bail because she got a part in a movie. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah. Okay. So she so she bailed. Uh, what happened is my wife had to bail on, on the day of. Oh. Because she had agreed a month before to babysit for uh, my son's best friend. Like, yeah. It, it turns out what it was was the uh, the Lionel Richie concert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so wait a minute. Lionel Richie playing where? At the Hollywood Bowl. Really? Okay. And his opener... Yeah. Was Mariah Carey. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so. Okay. So first of all. That's got to be pretty good because like Lionel Richie has so many songs. Dude. Like you could sit there for like two hours and just listen to Lionel Richie songs. You'll know every song and all the words. Oh. And when you, and when you listen to them live. Yeah. You realize just how awesome they are. <laughs> like dancing on the ceiling. Sure. Like, the place is going. Where are they? Fucking nuts. Is all old people there or what? No, dude. No. There's no young people there. There's plenty of young people there. Like little kids? Were there any millennials there? There were a lot of millennials. I mean, look, there, there was like, because you had Mariah Carey there too. So okay. Like, okay. There were a lot of Mariah fans. I only there. know like two Mariah Carey songs. Maybe. Like Maybe. Like, I don't know. You know the one I know? Like if I heard them, I know them. I know the Christmas one. Okay. Where she's like saying, uh, I've been bad this year. Like I I'm, know. you know. Did you like, show up late so you could. Missed Mariah Carey, or did you get there from Mariah Carey? No, I wanted to see Mariah Carey, too. Okay, but wait a minute. Let me take this back a second. So you had two women take the place of your women? No. So, <laughs> so my, you know, because my, like, Cliffy bowed out, like, a few days before. So she okay. had a girl. Uh, I, don't, I don't know her last name. Her name is Mandel. She's going to be in the new Bobby Moynihan. Uh, TV show? TV show. Okay. And she's, like, she's hot Cliffy. Okay. That's not very nice. Okay. No, no, no. Pa- like, her husband, pa- Paul, was saying, like... Because because Paul described her, he was like, "Oh, you're gonna love this girl. She's funny, you know, very funny." And when I saw her, I was like, "It's young, it's young." A younger version of his wife. <laughs> yeah, version of his wife. <laughs> okay. And, and who was, was your date? Uh, Eric Levy. Oh, okay. I got him <laughs> okay. at the last minute. <laughs> okay. And then and so and then that girl Mandel. Yeah. Her brother came with his girlfriend. Okay. But so essentially, then it became like Basie and Levy and me talking, and then like the three of them kind of talking, but like. The three of us were at the Mariah Carey concert. <laughs> right. So, like, uh, so, you know, Mariah Carey, it's the only opener I've ever seen who got her own encore. Okay. And, you know, places are going nuts for it. Like, there are a lot of Mariah Carey fans there only. Sure. Like, people left when Lionel Richie came out? No one left. <laughs> no one left. Because y- y- you, you, something was very clear. Yeah. Mariah Carey's world famous. Yeah. She's a diva. She's mm-hmm. a superstar. Mm-hmm. But Lionel Richie is a fucking legend. That's a different level. You're right. Lionel Richie is like a... He's, he's an icon. Yeah, I mean, and, and there are plenty of people, like, probably younger folks, like my kids, they don't fucking... They, don't, they might have heard a Lionel Richie song before or whatever. Yeah. They don't know that he has, like, 30 number one hits, or whatever the fuck it is, over the course of, like, three different decades. Yeah. Well, and, and it's like... It's like, like the uh, fucking Commodores. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing, too. It's like, if you found out that, like... Bruce Springsteen. Boos? It, Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> That's what my, my wife called him. She's like, what are you listening to again? Bruce Springsteen? <laughs> uh, if you found out that like he was in a rock group sure, before he went solo. Sure, like the Guess Who. Yeah. It, Did you know Bruce Springsteen was in the Guess Who? What? 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 Yeah, it's like a Canadian band with a Jersey guy. Yeah, yeah it's like, you know, and, and uh, I mean, the Commodores, so like he did all, all those Commodore yeah. songs. Yep. Okay. Brick House. Right. Fire. Mm-hmm. Fire. <laughs> right. It's on fire. This is very different than my Guns N' Roses concert from last week. Oh, yeah, no, totally. Totally <laughs> opposite. But, like, it's the other side of the coin. Yeah. Slash didn't come out and rip it up on the guitar during Lionel's. Uh, no, there were no special guests. No guests, huh? No spe- And frankly, I expected... Quincy Jones would come out and... Uh... No, not Quincy Jones. And frankly, I thought Diana Ross would maybe show up. Oh, that would have been great. Or I thought Mariah Carey would have come out to do Endless Love with him. Right. Endless fucking love. My endless love. Right. Or Nicole Richie. Did she show up? Or? Uh, uh, I couldn't <laughs> see her. Couldn't see her. So, um, so I got an Uber. Yeah. And the first, I was like, damn. Like, my Uber... My Uber driver was fucking smoking hot. Really? Oh my god. Okay. Like, I, I was like, oh, hot. so like my my wife's roommate from uh, from grad school. Yeah. Is staying with us for the week. Okay. Out Extended from, stay. Out from Florida. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I was sitting with her on the cat. I was like, oh boy, look at look at my Uber driver. Her name is Brooklyn. <laughs> okay. Okay. And uh, and Vanessa, my wife's friend, was like, oh my god, wow, she's hot. Tiffany, come here, check this out. <laughs> 
And like you know, t- my, like my wife, to her credit, <laughs> right? She likes me to give go, me that fucking phone. She likes me to go in style like that. Sure. You know, like right. she's told me she she's like, if you gonna cheat on me, motherfucker, <laughs> that girl better be hot. <laughs> she's like, you don't sure. embarrass me. Fucking a, better be Scarlett it, Johansson. She's like, you gotta be somebody that all the mother motherfuckers gonna say like, I get why he did it. <laughs> right. So like she was like. She's like, ooh, you gonna have a fun drive to the Lionel Richie show? Like, really? Like, are you though? Is it like, do you do you talk to your Uber driver more because she's hot, or is it the same thing? Like, you just scroll through shit on your phone and keep to yourself. <laughs> uh, if she's hot, I'll talk to her. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, I, I only, you know me, I'm a chatty fucking Kathy. Like, I, I guess so. I don't like it's when they're not pleasant. Yeah, to be around that, then I I descend. And believe me, I have I like the non pleasant ones. I like the ones who don't want to talk. I know you like that. You like to go to the barber and read your paper. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure. But so what happened was I was like, okay, and and she was she was nine minutes away. Okay. I I looked at what I was wearing and I I went and ch- <laughs> I changed my outfit for the Uber driver. <laughs> Did your wife call you on it? Nobody noticed. Is there a reason why you're changing your clothes? Hold on a second. You was like two minutes ago. You was wearing camouflage <laughs> pattern shorts. That's your fuck shirt. Yo, man, that's your get laid. That's I know, I know it because you wore that on our first date. Yeah, motherfucker. No, but then I, I changed like, like I had a regular pair of sunglasses that I was gonna wear. I put, a, I got a sexy pair of sunglasses. <laughs> okay. Like I, I cha- and I was like, what am I fucking doing? Right, right. Brooklyn's coming. And I said, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's that when I walk to the fucking Brooklyn car, Brooklyn's coming in her Toyota Prius. Yeah, I want to have a little panty splash. Okay, be like you know, okay. and okay. then maybe just maybe, I can gear her towards <laughs> talking about you know. What I do for a living, you <laughs> sure, know, and talk about sure. my movies and things sure. like that. Perhaps you're familiar with my work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you know, just, I'm in the film business. You ever seen the movie Super Troopers? No. Yeah. So she was um, She was like, I'm going to say she was 23 or okay. 24. Hot Uber driver, huh? Hot Uber driver. Never had, never had it. Do you know what? The, in in the, the last month, I've had two hot Uber drivers. Really? July 4th. Okay. My wife and I had a hot Uber driver that we invited to the July 4th party we were going to. What? Okay. Did she take you up on it? She did. I mean, they, they swapped numbers. Okay. And uh, They swapped numbers? Why? So she could text us when she, we were at a beach party. This is the way swinger couples got do it. Got it. Okay. I didn't even know. Okay. <laughs> no, so so uh, I got in, and she was wearing, this This girl was wearing a really revealing outfit. Yeah. Like she was wearing short, she was like wearing like short shorts mm-hmm. and was like, and like a little tank top. This is Brooklyn. This is Brooklyn. Yeah. You know, we chatted and everything. She, you know, she started talking about her boyfriend. I started yeah. to lose interest, right? It, sure. Immediately, but like sure. you know, and then what she, a turn, what a turn off, bro. And then she was well. He was a musician, and like he's trying to make don't, it. Don't, don't bore me now in L.A. Whatever. Don't okay, bore so me fine. with it. Okay, so fine. But that, but you know, it was an, I was an hour with Brooklyn. I was, yeah. It's nice to spend time in the company sure. of a lady, and uh, you have a nice conversation with. <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right, where's this going? Anyway, so that's just, no, no. Way. <laughs> okay. So we got to uh, so Lionel Richie. So so Mariah Carey. Yeah. Uh-huh comes out she's okay okay she's got good pipes though right she's got good pipes but yeah. like you know she's a little fussy <laughs> she's a diva for my i know but that's her whole thing and she she's like we got diva in the house and like people cheer right and she's like kind of winds her way through like do you remember like uh was it like new year's eve or something there was like mm-hmm. a thing on like cnn or something like she did a a, a song or she was supposed to do a few songs and like Mm-hmm. The lip syncing thing wasn't working, and <laughs> right. so she was like rolling her eyes and like, sh- and then she was complaining. She's like, "Somebody's supposed to come out here and take and walk me over here. Nobody's doing that." And like, she, she was like complaining sure. a lot. Sure. That's her thing. That's her mo. I, I get that's her thing. Like, so yeah. she was like complaining. She like, her big encore was a song called "Hero," which I guess is pretty big. Yeah, yeah. I think I've heard it. I've heard of that. Yeah. And she was like, she's like, so I I'm heard gonna, it. I'm gonna do a song called Hero for you. Everybody's gonna. Ask. She's like, yeah. I mean, people seem to like it. She's like, I get, uh, so that's I'll do it. So that's why I'm gonna do it. <laughs> In spite of me not liking it, I'm gonna do it because you guys like it. Yeah, that was right, dude. Yeah, and okay. so like she sang. Seems it. Seems like an uphill battle. Yeah, so I was, I was like, oh man. Okay. She's like a real. Like that's what we were talking about. We're like, I bet she's a pain in the ass. Mm-hmm. That's that, that's what the three of us were saying <laughs> up there in the stands. The point is. We didn't. I didn't really listen to Mariah Carey. Like, yeah, we just kind of talked throughout that whole thing. But then Lionel Richie came out mm-hmm. and butt fucked it. Really, dude, crowd loved it. Lionel Richie is awesome. He is good. Like you know what? There's a reason why he's a a legend. Oh yeah, and there are songs that like you're like God. He sings that one too, huh? Right. And you're like, I knew he sung that. Cause I'm easy. He opened with easy. Yeah. Oh, isn't that in Baby Driver? What's the one in Baby Driver that the kid lip syncs to? Easy. Okay. 
Yeah. Right, so he opens that song. The place goes bananas. The place goes bananas. Yeah. I have the play. I'll tell. I'll give you the play. Don't, 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 don't. I don't want to hear your golf strokes. Don't worry about it. But then he shit. he does shit like between every song. Did he talk? Lionel. Not only did he talk. Okay. But he butt fucked it. What? Like he gave life advice and shit. I t- I tweeted. I tweeted uh, some of his stuff. Like he came out. He, he was like, I ran into a a two hundred and eighty four pound man came up to me and said, Lionel. 284. He knew that, huh? You weighed him? So he just, you know, listen, just don't, you know, cut him some slack. He's Lionel's doing some, he's exactly ripping. 284 he, pounds. I'm telling you, after he played like 15 yeah. songs, yeah. After every song, he would, he would do a fucking well, monologue. Well, it's like literally he did like once, twice, three times a lady. And he, fu- he just stood up off the piano off that and just like held his arms out in the place going nuts. And then he's like, I had a 200, goes right into the thing. He's like, <laughs> I had a 284 pound man come up to me and says, Lionel, I have made love to you so many times. <laughs> Wait, what? And Lionel, and, and he's like, and I said, no, you haven't. <laughs> and the crowd's like, woo! And people are going, I, you can hear, like, I've, I, I taped it. You, you can hear me laughing. Yeah. And then uh, he's like, and then the, the, the man's girlfriend came up to me and she said, it's true, I was there. <laughs> and the crowd is just fucking loving it. And right. he's like, anyway, I got more stories for you. I'm going to tell them to you all night long. Yeah. <sighs> All night and goes into that fucking oh, thing. All night long. I spent all day li- yesterday listening to Lionel Richie tunes. That's great. Yeah. Uh, now deep, deep, like uh, old cuts or like the, the kind of big number one hits from the 80s? The, I put on Essential Lionel Richie yesterday on my iTunes. <laughs> okay. And jogged to it? And and uh, <laughs> and I wrote I wrote you, to it. You lifted weights to it? Yeah. Dude, you could. <laughs> I almost I almost put on Lionel today when I went for a jog. Dancing on the ceiling. You could run to that. You can. What a feeling when you're dancing. And all night long, like, everyone do steep. Yeah. It's dancing, dancing in the, in the street. street all night long, all night, all night, all night. Feel good, feel good. Did, did he have a horn section? Did, 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 did. Oh well, he had uh, the band was super cheesy. He had a dude. Uh, you can look up Lionel Richie, saxophone player. <laughs> yeah, this guy would come at like the band was all they were like, ladies men. Yeah. Well, something I realized too is like like Lionel Richie. I have to tell you, I've never like considered him like a good looking guy or anything like sure. that. Sure. Like oh, he's kind of a goofy looking. Dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But when you see him live. You think about him totally differently. You're like, oh no, Mm-mm. he's a a cock swinger. <laughs> Is he? I mean, he's the lead singer of the Commodores. Sure, back in the day, and he would talk about these seventies. He, he comes out. He's like, you know, you think you're gonna come here and see a real dignified show tonight? Uh uh-uh. uh, <laughs> <sighs> that ain't happening. You realize where I come? I come from the Commodores. <sighs> All the old people, from and the, then they the cut crowd. some a Commodores fucking like okay. four songs in a row. Commodores, boom, that's great. It was it was actually awesome. Like we were loving Did it. Did you guys get fucked up there? Oh my god, because it like so at the Hollywood Bowl. Then you've got to. I mean, how the fuck do you get out of there on an, in an Uber? Everyone wants to be calling for an Uber. From the we Hollywood walked. Bowl. We just walked down to Hollywood Boulevard and went to a bar. Oh, okay. After the show, but like we were we were pretty bombed. Yeah. It's also like it's one of those times. Do you ever like? Step outside yourself. You're like, oh my god, I've been smiling ear to ear the entire time. Sure, <laughs> I was aware of it. Like at some point, <laughs> at some point, oh, because you know what? The, he, like he played, he played fucking "We Are the World." He did. He he oh, led the whole crazy. Hollywood Bowl and "We Are the World." And you sang your little dick off. I <laughs> sang my little <laughs> dick and little teeny ball. We are the world. Oh. God, it would be great if you brought people out on the. You know, There's a choice. Just sang, with, sang with them? That's what I was kind of hoping. I mean, yeah. I mean, for We Are the World, you got to have at least like two or three other people come out. Fucking Cindy Lauper. Or yeah. Well, Bruce Springsteen. Anyway, I mean, there's. Daryl Hall. We've been talking about them all. It was interesting. He, he's, he's like, you know, we lost some lead. Let's honor a legend. Let's honor a world legend. Mr. Michael Jackson. And people mm-hmm. are like, woo. Like they're giving up. I'm like, sure. Fucking pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. But when you when you say that Lionel Richie is in that rarefied air of of Michael Jackson fame or Michael Jackson musical success, I don't know if anybody can. Th- I'm just saying, like it's it's hard to get into that. But he's, you know, he's closed up there. You, you know, yeah. so you just you, you don't realize it, you forget Been about it so long. But done anyway, it all. But the dude and 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 he's and he drills it. He sounds great. Yeah. And his songs are fucking great. Mm-hmm. 
And can't get a guest to join him at the Hollywood Bowl. Though. Give me a fucking break. But maybe he didn't, maybe he didn't want him because he's like, no, nah, they don't have to hang out with them afterwards. Yeah. Nah, I don't want them on my stage. This is my stage. Well, it was funny too because like at some point, like you know, he's up on the big screen. Like the saxophone player was just like chewing it up. Yeah. Like he was coming out beating it purple as Bill Paxton <laughs> used to say. Like he come out do the saxophone and like and like looking at ladies and like you're, you're like. And I, we're like, all right, buddy, all right, all right, cool. This is Lionel's show. And a couple times, like, you could see, like, he was hogging. We saw Lionel just tap him on the back. <laughs> and you could see it on the big screen. He would, like, give him a pat. And, like, we were, la- we were like, holy shit, he did the fucking pat again. Yeah. They get the fuck out of here, Pat. Sure. And the guy would walk away and, like, go back to the corner, <laughs> which was awesome. Which was awesome. Hey, sax player, don't yeah. overstep your boundaries, my friend. Yeah. Oh, night long. Yeah. See this guy? He's been stepping on my toes all night long. <laughs> all night. He like say you, say me. Holy shit. Yeah. He played some of that. Fuck. Duck on you. Yeah. yeah. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on I my do. way. Now I'm on my way. Why the glad you stay? I mean, it was it was tremendous. And you know, I told and, and we are the world. Yeah. My endless love. Dude, running with the night. We will run with the night. Right, sure. Dink, dink, dink. I okay. Mean, d- dancing on the ceiling was forget it. That's the one where you're like, when's he going to play Dancing on the Ceiling? He's going to open with it. He's going to hit an encore. And then it's like he played in the, right in the middle of the show. You're like, it's dancing. And you're dancing. He led that one. He, he's like, people, you're going to be, we're going to be dancing all you're going to dance shoes. You're dancing on the floor. And you're going to be dancing on the ceiling. Like he would announce every song. Dun, dun, dun. All right. You, yeah, you had enough line. Yeah, I've had about enough of the line. Of Hello. I love it. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's great. Is it me you're looking for? What do you got? I've been talking about lying out for a while now, Queen. <laughs> I don't know. You were talk- what we were talking about also your uh, your, your house guest. You got a house guest? I got a house guest. Yeah, my wife's uh, my wife's roommate from graduate school. Yeah. They both went to University of Florida together. And she just had her chilling for a week? Gator girls. Living yeah, she, on your couch? She, uh, well, you know, we got a guest room. Oh, you do? And so she uh, she, it up, she stays there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's like uh, she's hot. Okay. <laughs> You're just going to lay it down like that? Your college your wife's college friend, she's hot. She's living in your house. Yeah, and it's like, um, you know, it's just... Does like, that cause problems for you? Or I, I'll, t- I'll say this. Like, it's the kind of thing where, like, she doesn't mind walking around, like, showing off. What do you mean, naked? I, no, I shouldn't say showing off like that, but it's like... like Dude? She's not... I've known her now for a while. Sure. She's been out here a number of times. Yeah. She's comfortable. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know, she'll come out in like a, she'll come out in a panty and a, like a, a t-shirt or something like yeah. that. But so, you know, like, but you know, we got the pool going and so like, she, yeah. you know, we're in bikini, she's in bikini all the time. Yeah, you're in your bikini, she's in her bikini. So they're out there drinking. Of course, I'm going out there for beers. Sure. Right. Cold beers. They're just out there partying. Yeah. In the bikini. But like the, uh, and it's, I was telling you that it's like, you know, back in, like when I was dating my wife, like she and this girl were living together and yeah. my wife at the time used to tell me, she's like, oh yeah, if we're bored and we're like home, we get, we'll get drunk, we'll get in the. We'll get in the pool. So no, we'll make out with each other and like, oh boy. Oh play boy. with each other's titties. Whoa. Titties, yeah, but so, like I know you that. You said about, that, huh? I know that okay. about these two. What's going on over your house then? Dude, it's it's Is fucking, there some shit going on over there? Dude, it's bacchanalia. Is there anything you want to share with the two crew or what? I had a three way. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like uh but like I they're So cool. so there's the there's the specter of that floating around though. Because you're telling me they used to make out with each other and before the week happened, like she was like, "Yeah, she's you know Vanessa. She's single. Mm-hmm. She's le- she's getting a little, de- you know, she's sad. She wants a man. She wants to settle down, have a baby. Yeah. And she's like, but most of all, she just needs to get laid right now. <laughs> and, and I was like, oh well, you know, why you send someone over there, Levy like, or something? Like that. I got some, I got some guys. But she, well, she's five ten. Okay. And so, and she really likes dudes who are like six four. Jeez. Okay. You don't know any of those. I don't know any of those. But so my wife said, she just needs to get laid. Okay. And I was like, oh well, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll, I don't know that many six four single single dudes. She's like, I know. I told, I just told her she should just fuck you. I was like, um, <laughs> and, 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 and hello, <laughs> is it me you're, you're looking, looking for? for? I, I was like, that's one of those things where you, that you the next logical question is, and what did she say? <laughs> <laughs> but as I then, but then you're also like, but that's a uh, that's a dangerous road right here, and you got to make this is a decision you need to make in like sure I wouldn't know, but yeah, okay, one second, okay, you know, <laughs> you're like, I mean, this just suddenly gets po- thrown out there at you, sure, and you have to come up with the perfect response, right, so as not to upset your wife who might be joking, yeah, 
who might be joking, but who, might not. Who might also be <laughs> packing heat, you know. Like, right. But also might be opening a door for you. Could be. <laughs> Could be. Because, you know, my wife and I have gone to strip joints together. Like, yeah. You know, like she, you know, it's like, I, and she used to make out with this girl. Like, that. It's, it's, sure. It's in her realm. Sure. So what was your response? I, I, I was like, oh, I yeah. Po- I paused. I was like, oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> That's what I did. Oh, you like, played it cool. Yeah. You, you played play it cool. cool. You can't be too interested. I, sure. I made it seem like whatever. Yeah. And uh You're like, I wouldn't fuck with your dick. Yeah, honey. You can't do that. You can't say that. Whatever, I wouldn't fuck with your dick. <laughs> she she would if, if I said that she'd be like, Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Look at those titties. That's what she would say. Okay. That's what she says about her. Right. She's like she's like, Vanessa's got those sweet titties. Does she say it like that though? Yeah, she does. <laughs> so uh <laughs> But anyway, so that's so there, that, there's that energy r- running around. I mean, like, okay, maybe, all maybe right. I'm the only one feeling it. I don't think sure, because because sure. the, the truth of the matter is, yeah, the uh, the funny thing was, and this relates to something that happened here. Okay, is uh, sh- v- Vanessa was like, I was coming out here, and uh, a couple of the people who I worked with were like, "Where are you going?" I sp- my friend, her husband, they live in L.A. Oh, what well, you know, he's an actor. What's he done? Um, did like a movie called Super Troopers, Beer Fest, and she said like the people went fucking bananas. Right. Right. And she was like, Stevie, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I just don't see you that way. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, no. I, and I play it off. I'm like, no, I like that. Sure. Even though I'm dying inside. I'm like, sure. I like that. She's like, I mean, she's like, I love you, Steve, but like, I'm not impressed by you. Yeah. I think of you as kind of dickless. She, well, she's just, she, <laughs> you know, I mean, she's taller than me. So she, she's like, All right. no, but she's, everybody she's, is. She's like, oh, shit. What <laughs> up? The Empire Strike Back. So she's like, uh, but she's like, she's like, I just don't see you. Like, she's just like, you're just Tiffany's husband to me. Like, right. I, and I've known you for a lot since you started dating. She's like, I'm not like, yeah. She's like, I'm not starstruck by you at all. You don't do shit for me, bro. Yeah. In my mind, I'm like, I'm smiling, laughing. I'm like, why don't you shut the fuck up? <laughs> but it's funny because like, I, I realized that like, it is an interesting life that we lead, you and I. Yeah. And and it, like it hit it. That was like. Two days ago, walking into your house today, like I ran into your daughters. They were about to go to the library. Yeah, and like, and the thirteen-year-old one, yeah, was sitting shotgun with the door open. Mm-hmm. I spoke. I spoke to the younger of the two. Right. And what are you doing? She's like, going to the uh, library. And I was like, that's cool. And I was like, how you doing over there? <laughs> and she's like, hey. And like, I realized that like every time I see your oldest daughter now, right, that she's like, oh hey, yeah. Like they don't give a fuck. They don't about me. They used to because they knew that you were a guy that they could karate chop. Yeah. But now they're at the age they don't give a fuck. No, shit. they don't give a shit. Like yeah. I'm not gonna chase them around the yard anymore. They're yeah. Like, they're not scared. Yeah. Or any of that shit. <laughs> like what's up? But it's 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 funny to me that like we have some swings where it's like we do a live show and people are excited to do the meet and greet. Yeah. And then you, you with the other people and I really appreciate it who are like, oh, this old fart. Yeah, <laughs> that fucking guy who dad's dad's partner. He's an asshole. Right? Who that guy? Yeah. Who who Tiffany's short husband? No. <laughs> that guy over there. All right, I guess. So, so you're not so you're not gonna have a three way then? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think. Is so. it because you're too short? You know, she's actually a good girl. Okay. Like she wouldn't. That's not a line that she would actually cross. Uh, okay. Unless she was told she could. I mean, like, like my wife had some friends like that at UF that yeah. were definitely, like, like when I first started dating her, like this is right after Beer Fest had come out. I was like, you know, yeah, and uh, they were like, hey, hey. like, uh, you know, like, can I get a piece of that? There were there were some that were like <laughs> out. Oh, we had a funny. I had a funny thing when I went to UF that like they took me to a bar. It was yeah. her and all her girlfriends. My yeah. wife, you know, used to work at Hooters, right. <laughs> and I met her because I was judging that uh, the Hawaiian Tropic Bikini contest, <laughs> right? Right. And a bunch of her friends were in the contest, right? She wasn't in that contest, right? And like, and I met her le- later that night at the after party, right? And so, like, those girls and I went went out, and I was the one getting the drinks, yeah. And like, like pictures were being sent, shots were being sent, and they were all being sent to me, and you know, and a couple of the girls actually got annoyed about it. Okay, why? Because it's usually them that are going to oh, the drinks, see, and I was stealing right. their thunder. You were stealing their thunder, right? Okay. And that was that was. A, and they hate you ever since. That was a not. No, like, but I, but we were talking about it the other day. Like my wife, like one of them got mad, right, at my wife, right, 
like just was just jealous. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why is he getting all the drinks? Right. Just because the movies. That's what all these guys. Are he's like, a movie guy. Like literally, it's like all the dudes are paying attention to me. Right. And I think it's funny that like you right know. now it's like, hey Stevie, oh uh, the toilet's clogged. Yes, honey. Would you unclog the f- fucking toilet for me? Yo, man, you get the shit out of the pipe. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, honey, sure. Okay. Remember those days when we did the bikini contest and everyone was buying me drinks? Those were the days, weren't they? That was a fun time, wasn't it? Remember that time? No, not really. Nah. That was so long ago. <laughs> uh, you know what, though? Yeah. Like, she leaves tomorrow. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go for it tonight. For the true crew, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take those girls out to dinner tonight. Okay. I'm going to fuck them. <laughs> Steve Lemmy. Yeah. Speaking of the short thing, can I, uh, can I move to another thing? Do it, do it. The, speaking of the short, uh, the short guy yeah. situation. Um, it's funny because like now, uh, I think we joked about him there a week, but the mooch, the mooch has come and gone. Fucking mooch. The fucking Holy mooch has come shit. and gone. And, uh, we which I think the mooch, I'm sad to see him gone because I think the guy is a cartoon character. So it's kind of like a funny version of a human. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I thought we could have done fun things with you playing the mooch. Yeah. I mean, we could have some fun with you, you as the Trump. mooch. You right. Played Trump. And you'd have been the mooch. Yeah. It could have gone forever, but the guy lasted 10 days. Not even 10 days. It was I, unbelievable. Can I tell you why I'm saddened by that? Yes. Because, uh, uh, you know, I'm not a Trump supporter. Yeah. And I really would have liked for Trump to trot this guy out there for a little bit longer. Like to actually, Oh, yeah. I mean, we got the sample size. And every day was delicious. It was like, what, are you fucking kidding me? Like the guy calling when he calls up the New Yorker, <laughs> Liz at the New Yorker, and, and has an interview with him. Steve Bannon sucks his own cock. Yeah, I don't suck my own cock like Steve Bannon. Does. Like you're like, yeah, okay, here we go. Here's your press guy. Here's your a fucking classy guy. guy, fucking classy. But the funny thing is, like now, uh, these stories are coming out. His wife divorced him too, right? Didn't she leave him? Yeah, yeah. She well, she divorced him. It's it's coming out. The true stories are coming out, but the, it was like you know, it had been like she divorced him. Uh, she was giving birth, you know, or whatever it was. So their second child or whatever. Yeah. But I guess they they had been on the rocks anyway. They get divorced. She was having a baby. He was at the fucking Boy Scouts of America speech right. that Trump was doing while she was having the baby. Okay. And then, uh, but they were estranged at that point already. Yeah, whatever. She's going to make uh, out like a bandit on this one. Yeah. And so, uh, well, they, 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 both, they were both on their second marriages, and they both worked at a hedge fund, hedge fund together, so I bet they got a little prenup probably now. Okay. I bet they okay. Yeah. Um, but here, the funny thing is also that now the stories are coming out. Now the stories are coming out about his 10 days and what was happening behind the scenes and how everyone was reacting to it. And uh, and I don't realize that because you don't meet the guy in person, but that I, I guess he's really fucking short. Yeah. And short the short jokes are coming now. <laughs> oh wait, and like, wait. But like I guess like uh, they said he had a short fuse. Well, no, but it was, yeah, I mean, uh, one of them was like uh, I guess someone said to Trump, you know, hey, this guy, uh, this guy's pretty slick. Uh, he's kind of a younger version of you. Uh, aren't you concerned he's going to steal your thunder? And then the quote was something from Trump was something like, yeah, maybe if he was seven inches taller. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's speculation that, uh, uh, you know, there's this dinner party that got leaked, and that's what made him blow up at the New Yorker. And uh, there's a speculation that he is having a romantic uh, uh, thing with this uh, Fox News woman, Gilfoyle. Her name's like Gilfoyle. Okay. And... Uh, wait, wait, wait. She's not Fox and Friends, is she? No. I don't think she's Fox and Friends, no, but she's, you know, one of these dingbats who uh, was up to be, you know, potentially his spokesperson right, right. And, and whatever. She's one of those Fox people. And um, uh, anyway, there's a speculation that the Mooch and this Guilfoyle chick had, were having, had a thing going on. Yeah. And then somebody dispelled it uh, uh, with the quote, like, oh, no, she actually likes tall guys. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> the fucking Mooch. And I thought of you. And I also thought of how the Thank Mooch, you. you know, Mooch keeps taking hits even after he's gone. The Mooch. Because well, now he's just the short asshole as opposed to just the asshole. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, it, listen, hey, he deserves it. Because, like, if you're, if you're going to be a short guy. Yeah. If, if you decide in life that you're going to be a short yeah. guy. Speaking from knowledge. Well, it's like you can't go around and call yourself the Mooch. <laughs> I know. It. And you know what? There's not even a, it's not even a joke because he did... In that New Yorker uh, interview, he was calling himself by the third person the his nickname. Yeah, not even Anthony this or anything that. It was when you de- when you deal with the mooch, you deal with the blah 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 blah, and you're like, "What are you fucking kidding me?" Yeah, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, you can't do that shit. You can't do that <laughs> shit. I'm I'm sad and be- I mean, look, what we got out of him was 
pretty spectacular. Great. While it a was flame there. out. It was a great flame out. And even yeah, even you know the post mortem is still like holy shit. Remember the fucking mooch? Yeah. And I, then, and it was also like you're still getting stories about when he when he had his job. He didn't. Really, he never really got the job. He was before he, he was actually like. You know, started his tenure, uh, but he flamed out. But like, there are these interviews coming out from last week about like uh, like the Washington Post or the Wall Street Journal had an interview, and they and they had an interview with Trump in the room with the mooch. But the transcript came out, and it's all like the you know Trump going, Anthony's going to clean this place up, right, Anthony? You know it. It's going to be great. He's going to do this and that. Yeah, I'm gonna. And then the next day he's fucking gone. <laughs> it's so awesome. It's so awesome. It's just like another like I, it's like I really wanted just a little bit more so we could have just had just another shining example of the buffoonery. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But this is it's it's good enough. He, Trump hired him because he thought he was the slick guy who could handle himself, and then it was just a cartoon version of that. Yeah. <laughs> Ten days. He was a, a buffoon. It was funny because like I think even the people who were like guarantee this guy doesn't make it because a lot of people were guaranteeing he wasn't going to make it yeah i think those people are surprised oh i think every, yeah everyone was shocked at how how quickly but everyone i don't even if you're a hardcore right winger or you're a fox and friends person or whatever it is you gotta love the mooch flame out nobody nobody liked the mooch nobody likes the mooch no Right? Nobody likes the you, mooch. You, you, you can enjoy the mooch, or you can think, oh, he's doing right by, by my president. But still, the, I mean, no one was upset at the flame out. No one was upset. No, I, I don't care people, what side of the I think people were spectrum psyched. you are. I think people oh. were psyched about the flame Absolutely. out. Absolutely. That mooch. guy deserves. The he's a, he, the guy's a Game of Thrones character. The mooch is a Game of Thrones character? <laughs> I think so. But, you know, in the Game of Thrones, those guys tend to last a while. I guess so. The little fingers? Littlefinger is way cooler than the Mooch. <laughs> I know that. I know he is. And but he's, like, he's smarter, a lot smarter than the Mooch is. But it's like, I'm trying to think of like a good Mooch character. I mean, the <laughs> obvious one comes to mind. But like, but you know, it's like, like even a Ramsey Bolton who's like, like, or, you know, like like the new guy. Yeah. Euron. Yeah. He's the Mooch. I guess so, yeah. That guy's the fucking Mooch. He is kind I of can, the Mooch. I, You're right. You're right. It's like he comes. I, I can't believe what's going on there. Like I love Game of Thrones, but I'm like, sure, he's delivering though. He is delivering it on his the, promise to the the thing. But I'm ju- I'm just like, it's the mooch. It is the mooch. He's you're the right. fucking mooch. The I'm, British mooch. He's just like, he, it's like you know. Here's the queen, and here's yeah. Jamie Lannister, and here's the court. He's yeah. and he's prancing around like. Yeah. Dancing between people and everyone's just sitting yeah. there like letting making him like do sex it. jokes and Jamie Lannister's like rolling his eyes. And, yeah, I know, I know. And I didn't even know who that guy was. And then I just, I've, he's one of those deals where you see the guy and then you see him in a bunch of places. Like I just, yeah, uh, that actor he was in. Um, he does a good job in it, even though I didn't love the movie. But that uh, Scarlett Johansson movie, Ghost in the Machine. Oh, he's in that. Yeah, he's in that. He's her sidekick. Kind okay, of you saw that? I watched it. Yeah, here I watched it at my house. Oh. it's you know it's on. It's on VOD now. Oh, really? What's VOD? It's a, you can go. You can watch movies at your house. Oh, really? You stream them. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah and so I was. I was that. here the other day, and I was like, "Ah, oh, Ghost in the Machine." I, was I didn't like, realize there's time. I, I mean, watched Scarlett Johansson in that suit, in a tight how, suit. How was it? Ah, uh, it's interesting from a point Not of like, movie. here's the, the future. Oh, the suit. Oh, it's good. It's a little fake looking. Like it's a. It's very. Uh, it, there's a. It's a. There's a lot of CGI look to it. Okay. I feel like. All right. Because mm-hmm. uh, she, the time she has a suit on are kind of like actiony type moments. Yeah. And otherwise she just wears regular clothes, but actiony moments, and when those actiony moments home ha- are happening, it's obviously, you know, there's some um, made up some enhancements, some enhancement okay. things to it. Okay. Um, but anyway, I'm, uh, here's what I'm gonna be pissed about this Game of Thrones things, and and whatever this episode will be up, it'll be a couple weeks down the road, and we'll have seen a few more episodes, so I may be proven wrong or whatever. But I'm telling you this, man, the mountain better fuck somebody up. Soon. Are you watching Game of Thrones? I'm so live. It's crazy. Okay. Like, every episode they have that that moment where, like, someone is standing in front of Cersei and the mountain's behind her. Yeah. And they say something and they do a shot where they cut to the mountain. Yeah. And he's, looking, and he's like, looking, you know? Yeah. And you, I want, like, they better not just do that every, every episode. They better fuck somebody up, man. Like, I want him to fight one of those fucking giants, one of those zombie giants. Yeah. Soon. He only fucked one group of guys. Like, didn't he fuck up some of those priests? Yeah, I think so. Last season. It's always just the threat of the mountain. Like, like 
somebody will be like saying something to Cersei and then look at the mountain and look up at the mountain and be yeah, like, and then oh, I should watch myself. Sir Gregor. But so that's, I mean, the hound is going gonna, is gonna to take on the mountain eventually, right? I don't know. They're brothers. I know. I mean, he, he burned the hound's face. Yeah. I went, well, whatever. I just want to see the mountain fuck somebody before that happens. I'd like to. They're, they're, they're not holding. I mean, they're, you know, this is an eight episode season. Like, they're going full throttle now to the end, I think. I hope so. You see any other movies? Um, yeah, well, the other night I, I finished watching uh, Ghost in the Machine, mm-hmm. and then you know I switched back on regular TV, and then movie Everest was on. You ever watch that movie Everest? Was it like an IMAX movie or something? Um, I don't know if it was IMAX, but it's you know it's kind of like it's not based on, but it was the same account of Into Thin Air, the John Krakauer book. Right, it was about the disaster on 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 Mount uh, Everest, nineteen ninety six, where you know like eight yeah. climbers died and whatever. And, and there were multiple accounts of it, and I think this thing is not necessarily Krakauer's account, which is into thin air, but uh, some sort of a more kind of a general account of what happened. Okay. And I, and just watching that thing, I was like, I have no fucking desire to climb a mountain. Like, the whole thing is about all these people like, I have to do it. Yeah. It's what, and I'm like, fucking, fucking no way. I tend to not have sympathy for... When people are asking for it and it happens, yeah. I tend to be less sympathetic about it. Like, I have no desire to climb a mountain either, but like... Me either. When you read about that shit and you're like, so many people who try it die. Yeah. And people are like, I'm going to do it. And then they die too. Yeah. I'm always like, why do you fucking... Why do you need to, to uh, climb? Does that make us idiots? Like the what's the point? <laughs> the idiots. I mean, I get it, but like, that's what that whole movie is about. Each person had their own story and their own reason of why they wanted to get to the top of that mountain. And some of them got there and some didn't. And the ones that did were delirious anyway. Yeah. And then guys are like, their fucking noses f- and and hands had to be cut off. Yeah. Because they froze. Yeah. And like their legs were cut off. And those are the ones that lived. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck? Because yeah. some fucking guy wants to climb on it. I don't know. I don't. I just don't have that drive. And I don't know if that makes me an asshole. You know, because there are a lot of people who like, I, I'm going to climb that fucking mountain. But me, I, I, I will honestly say this: I will never climb Mount Everest. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the Mooch has ever climbed Count, Mount Everest? No, I don't think so. You know what? I want to play a character named Count Everest. <laughs> Count Everest. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be pretty good. But I like. You know what? I don't know if you intentionally did this, but I like how you segued from the mountain in Game of Thrones to the to mountain, a mountain of Everest. Right, the mountain, Mount Everest. Yeah. How probe. You're totally cool. Thanks, bro. You know, I thought of a, a nice one of those. This is my new one. Yeah. The probe, the abbreviations. Yeah. Tell me you love me, Kev. Steve, I love you. Kev? Yeah. The feeling's mooch. <laughs> okay. Mooch? The feeling's mooch. <laughs> you think the, the feeling's mooch? mooch? Is, the, the mooch probably hasn't, will never climb Mount Everest. No way. No way. The okay. mooch will never climb Mount Everest. Does that make me like the mooch? <laughs> yeah, you and the mooch. I'm, the, I'm like the mooch. I don't mooch. know what the mooch is going to do now. The mooch is a punchline. The guy's a fucking punchline now. The mooch is a punchline. But don't you think that like uh, that the people that he works with have always felt that way about him, that he's a walking punchline? I mean... I don't know. I mean, he had, he had a pretty successful hedge fund, and uh, he was a relatively successful guy, I guess, and Harvard Law School, and but from, let you know it. From everything I read about him, though, what it was, <laughs> it, it, it wasn't necessarily that he was so good at his job yeah, but he was a guy who could close the deal before people realized what was going on. He did, yeah. The mooch didn't seem to have much substance to him at all, um, and I think that gets exposed under the li- under the hot lights. I mean, it's pretty hilarious. Like, do you think the mooch <laughs> is that bad? Like, did he just implode? Because we've certainly met guys who like. I'm trying to think of a good example that like when given. Well, it's like my you know Espinosa story. You yeah, know, it's like the guy sure. like you get your fucking moment in the sun. Yeah. <clears throat> and and a, a switch gets flicked. Yeah, that's the story of the guy who got his nose job, right? Yeah, yeah. Espinosa. Espinosa. Should I tell a story? Yeah, go real quick. Huh? Espinosa, a guy grew up with huge nose. Espinosa. Mm-hmm. Espinosa. Finally, he was gone from school for like six weeks, and um, people were like, "What the? F- where's Espinosa? Like, what happened to him?" It turns out, maybe it was like four weeks. He he got a nose job. And this is like I, I don't know how much tech like uh, medicine has advanced since then, but like back then you got a nose job, you had rings under your eyes for a long fucking time and bandages all over your nose. Like that was right. And they had one nose they could give you. You know, it was like a standard <laughs> nose. Right. <laughs> and and uh, 
but we were all, you know, it was like, I think it was my senior year. We were all at a, a, a bar in New York City and um, underage drinking, and uh, and Espinosa showed up. And yeah. His new nose. And he was fucking. New nose. He was, he was fucking gorgeous. Oh, my God. And he knew it. He was gorgeous. Well, he. He looked like the mooch. But then, it, but then it, it hit him like girls were like all over him, and like, and he just he got drunk. Yeah. And he got drunk with power. Mm-hmm. And he, in one night, he got into an, this is it. This is his night. He unveiled the nose. And he got into an argument with a guy, and like you know, he's like f- so swollen with pride, and the guy said, Let's "Step outside and fight." Mm-hmm. And I don't think he'd ever been in a fight before. He and he. Oh, that knows. Yeah. He walked out in front of the guy. Yeah. The guy right behind him, he, with his back to the guy, he just walked out of the bar and he turned around and the dude's fist was already there. Yeah. Shattered his nose. His new nose. His brand new nose. Shattered it. They had to they had to shave more nose away to fix it. Uh. And when he came back, he had like a little tiny cat nose. Oh my god. Like the guy in Mount Everest. It's this is the <laughs> this is the mooch. You know, it's like right. he, he was a guy. He had a moment. Yeah. And he didn't know how to handle it. But the funny thing also is that he brought people down. Like, he got his moment, right? So he, for some reason, against the recommendation of all his people, Trump said, I'm going to pick this guy. He's going to be my guy. Yeah. And that caused Sean Spicer, the Sean Spicer, yeah. that everyone made fun of for six months, to resign. Yeah. That pushed Sean Spicer out of the whole fucking picture. Yeah. He's like, I'm out of here. And uh, and uh, fucking uh, <laughs> and the other guy. the uh, Well, the, Priebus and Ryan's Priebus, yeah. Yeah. But he was he I think he was going to be gone anyway but like those two guys were casualties of the mooch and then the next day the mooch is gone. Yeah. So it's almost like you lost for nothing. But you know the interesting thing about Spicer is that like there were a number of things that should have caused him to resign. Sure. He should have been gone a long time ago. I mean that's a shitty fucking job. He was doing Oh yeah. forced to do a lot of shitty things. Mm-hmm. It's interesting that this is this is the thing that he chose to hang his hat on. Yeah. But you know what? I think at the end of the day he found his out. I guess so. There was speculation that maybe he'll be back. Maybe he'll come back. You know, now that the mooch is gone, and then people were like, "No, nah, he's not coming back." <laughs> it's really interesting. It's really interesting this political situation we find ourselves in because you still have a lot of people who are like, "He's doing a good job." You're just not being told the truth, and you're like, "Okay." Ah, come on. Who Spicer? I mean, oh, no, all of the. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Oh. I mean, Trump. Spicer, like right off the bat. I, I remember we were in Madison when the inauguration happened, and I was on the treadmill watching the whole, like like for an hour or two hours or whatever, the, his first press conference. And uh, he came out in the suit that didn't fit him. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they made him over as time went on. Yeah. Uh, and It's like Susan Boyle. Yeah. yeah. And, and his first issue was, uh, was to fight and scrap and claw at how uh, big the crowd was, the crowd was yeah. for inauguration, when there was evidence that what he was saying was not accurate, and it was quite clear that his boss told him, go out there and fucking fight for me. Go out there and make them understand how big that crowd was. Yeah. And that's what he did. And it, it was a fucking embarrassment, and that was the day one. That was day one, yeah. and it, he was done. He was toast from that fucking day. Well, and then, he was toast. And then Melissa <laughs> McCarthy fucking... That was the nail in the coffin. Final dagger. Oh, yeah. I mean... Dude. Which I remember seeing now for the first time, too, and I was like, because I didn't know, I think I was just watching it. When you're watching it live, like, a lot of it was, like, uh, after the fact, like, oh, do you see Melissa McCarthy did Sean Spicer? I remember watching it uh, without knowing. Yeah. I may have watched it that night or whatever. And you're watching it, and somebody comes out, and they're doing Sean Spicer, and you're like, who the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> who the fuck? Holy shit, that's Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. Like, before you knew that it was her, if you watched it, it was a whole different fun experience. Yeah. And then I just laughed my ass off at that. I mean, it, it may not have ever been as funny as the first time she did it, but it was always good. But that time when she did it, I was like, oh, my God. This is genius. You know, I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad that I haven't done any Bill no, he's Clinton gone. impression today. <laughs> Your Bill Clinton uh, no, has fallen Bill off? Clinton. I, love, I love my new Bill Clinton impression. Mm-hmm. I just like talking like him. Sure. you can. Uh, maybe you can be the uh, press secretary now. You can, you can almost say anything you want with this voice. Yeah, because it's, it's soft, it's meaningful. Steve, I'll tell you what. Call me up. I'll tell you how to get that three-way with your wife's <laughs> roommate from graduate school. <laughs> it doesn't matter how big or small you are. Yeah. It's your comportment. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great word, comportment. <laughs> comportment. <laughs> I'm going to start saying that more. It's your comportment, Steve. That'll get you into that three-way, my friend. Trust me, I know. 
Trust me, I know. They used to call me the three-way kid <laughs> back when I was in the house. I mean, wait a second, what? Hold on. Just a JK, second. everybody. I like to triangulate, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, all right, Chew Crew. That's it? Uh, you know what I'm chewing? Yeah. The most delicious thing we've talked about. Oh, what's that? The mooch. Oh, you're going to chew the mooch? I'm going to chew the I mooch. I thought you were going to have a picadillo. Dude, you know what a great New York Post headline would have been? If, yeah, they've done them all. Like Scaramooch, screw, Scaramooch. The, screw the mooch. Yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, uh, that, I think that was a Huffington Post one. You got to wake up pretty early in the morning. Yeah, to find they it. used them all. Trust me. Anything with the word post in it is going to is going to have a good <laughs> Scaramooch. Let's do the Fandango. Let's do the Fandango. Scaramooch, Scaramooch. <laughs> a lot of Fandango jokes. A lot of it was like, now he can do the Fandango. <laughs> you know, you realize that like. Just generally speaking, we're all just a bunch of cunts, Kev. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, like, it's like the Mooch and the whole White House crew, they're a bunch of cunts. The reporters, right or left, they're a bunch of cunts. Like, everyone just wants to fucking be like, I'm the best, you're an asshole, Mm -hmm. I'm awesome, you suck. But the reality is there actually are real assholes in this world, and the Mooch is one of them. (laughs) Yes, he is, and that's the moral of the story. (laughs) That's the moral of the story. Yeah. You can be an asshole. So take that. Take I don't think assholes. Sean Spicer's an asshole, but I think the Mooch is an asshole. Yeah. You think Kellyanne Conway is an asshole? Uh, I feel badly I think for, she's. Dev- I feel badly for her. I think she's she's devoid of a soul. I really do. I think uh, the people who have to go out there and defend every single thing that the guy does. Yeah. And uh, no matter what, and try to make up some story for it. I think she, I think they're devoid of 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 principle. Well, that's like because I because you can agree with the policies. But there's times when you should disagree w- with things that are done wrong. And w- and when you don't do that, that's when you know that you don't have a soul. Mm-hmm. So that's what I think. Heavy Words <laughs> by Kevin Heffernan. <laughs> we should call our podcast Heavy Words. Heavy Words. And and by the way, pun intended. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You hear what yeah, I said? Okay. You hear what I said? That's a fat joke? All your short jokes. Okay. All you didn't right. think you didn't think we were gonna make it out of this podcast without me coming back at you, did you? Well, it's like you're coming at Fat J, Fat Kevin. I mean, I get it. Yeah, I get like fat guys. What do you want? I know. I know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a chubby chaser. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. All right. All right. I'm gonna. Uh, if you're having the mooch, I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna have a cold beer on the way out. Ooh, man, I'm jealous. Cold, thick beer on the way out. Okay. Okay. You going lager? You going IPA? I'll go IPA. The more bitter, the better. Okay. As far as I say. All okay, right. here we go. So I'm going beer. You're going what? I'm chewing the mooch. All right, let's do it on the way out. Mm-hmm. Oh, delicious. Mm-hmm. Beer and mooch. Oh, it tastes like Italian. Mooch and beer. Mm-hmm. No, it's good. Oh, uh, thanks, Chew Crew. We'll talk to you next week. Now leaving Nerdist.com. And chug that. If you if you okay. dare me chug it, I'll chug it. I'm not gonna. I don't want to. I don't want to. Because it's that delicious. Too. I know, but you know. I'm, What'd you chew? I love the Mexican food. I went to a Mexican restaurant the other night with my family, and uh, always I'm o- I order beer. You know, I'm a beer guy. I'll drink a I'll drink a beer with dinner. Yeah. Instead, I got a margarita rocks for the first time in a long time. What? It was delish. <laughs> this is like the time that we went to Gladstones and you ordered the rose wine. <laughs> And we were all drinking beer. And I was like, what? <laughs> Kevin, you don't have the thought bubble. Like, Kevin never uh, drinks <laughs> rosé wine. I know. So Kevin never drinks a margarita. I've never seen you drink a margarita. I, I, I realized that. I realized that. But I had it. It was fucking great. The night? It was hot. It was like 100 degrees. Yeah. I like, I go frozen margarita. I know. My wife did blended. Yeah. I love a fucking frozen margarita. Yeah, I know. Or pina colada. That's too, uh, I think that's good, but it's too, like, desserty to me. I only do, I only ever do pina colada by a pool in the sun or on yeah. the beach in the sun. But if I'm just going to have a drink with dinner, it's, it's too, it's too, like, smoothie. Yeah. You know? For yeah. For me. But, like, uh, like, that's, like, a good frozen margarita is more, like, icy. Yeah. As opposed to creamy. I guess so, yeah. Wait, did you tell me what you were chewing? Oh, uh, watermelon. <laughs> what does Mexican food have to do with watermelon? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, but that's what I was chewing way back when we were talking. We were chewing. Okay, you chew that. Because it's it's uh, it's so summery. It's so like it's so hot right now. Like the, yesterday was the weirdest fucking weather in the world. Yeah, it was hot and it was moist in in California. And it rained for like a minute. Yeah, like I walked outside 
and it was like 100 degrees. I turned the pool filter off, and then I walked inside, and I was like, God, it's so fucking hot outside. And then my daughter was like, it's raining. And I was like, what? And I turned around, and it was fucking raining. Yeah, for like a minute. Yeah, it was like five-minute rain. It's like, you know, I felt And bad. then you went inside and stunk. Oh, it's it stunk of post rain. Yeah, it stunk of of that post rain heat. The funny thing too is that like, in these parts in, in Los Angeles, when it's humid like like this, yeah, all the witches are like, it's earthquake weather. <laughs> That's the sign that an earthquake is coming. I guess that may be true though. Why do the witches do that? I just mean all the people who who <laughs> like believe in like my wife, for instance. Like, you know what, motherfucker, I heard. Yeah. You know what little birdie told me, motherfucker? <laughs> Say that when it all humid like this, mm-hmm. an earthquake is coming. That's right. It's so hot that the earth breaks. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's funny. Last week when the ghoul yeah. was over at my house. You told the story last week about playing chess when with we the ghoul. Were playing chess. Right. My ghoul was mentioning to my wife that we talk about her on the podcast. Right. She knows that. Le- right? She knows that. Right. And she's like, yeah, they make fun of me like I'm a fucking character. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you don't even know, honey, you don't even know. Like, it's gotten it's gotten out of control. Like, it used to be, like, I bet if we go back and listen to, like, the first, like, we were loving Did it. Did you guys get fucked up there? Oh, my God. Because, it like, so at the Hollywood Bowl, then you've got to, I mean. How the fuck do you get out of there on an, in an Uber? Everyone wants to be calling for an Uber from the We Hollywood walked, Bowl. we just walked down to Hollywood Boulevard and went to a bar. Oh, okay. After the show. But, like, we were, we were pretty bombed. Yeah. It's also, like, it's one of those times, do you ever, like, Step outside yourself. You're like, oh my god, I've been smiling ear to ear the entire time. Sure, <laughs> I was aware of it. Like at some point, <laughs> at some point, oh, because you know what? The, he, like he played, he played fucking We Are the World. He did. He he oh, led the whole crazy. Hollywood Bowl and We Are the World. And you sang your little dick off. I <laughs> sang my little <laughs> dick and little teeny ball. We are the world. God, it would be great if you brought people out on the. You know, There's a choice. Just sang, could... sang with them? That's what I was kind of hoping. I mean, yeah. I mean, for We Are the World, you got to have at least like two or three other people come out. Fucking Cindy Lauper. Or yeah. Well, Bruce Springsteen. Anyway, I mean, there's. Daryl Hall. We've been talking about them all. It was interesting. He, he's, he's like, you know, we lost some legend. Let's honor a legend. Let's honor a world legend, Mr. Michael Jackson. And people mm-hmm. are like, woo, like they're giving up. I'm like, sure. Fucking pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. But what, what, when you say that Lionel Richie is in that rarefied air of of Michael Jackson fame or Michael Jackson musical success, I don't know if anybody can. Pick I'm, I'm saying like it's it's hard to get into that. But he's, you know, he's closed up there. You, you know, yeah. so you just you, you don't realize you forget it's been about on it. so long. But done but the, it all. But the dude and 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 he's and he drills it. He sounds great. Yeah. And his songs are fucking great. Mm-hmm. And Can't get a guest to join him at the Hollywood Bowl. Though. Give me a fucking break. But maybe he didn't, maybe he didn't want one because he's like, no, nah, they don't have to hang out with them afterwards. Yeah. Nah, I don't want them on my stage. This is my stage. Well, it was funny too because like at some point, like you know, he's up on the big screen. Like the saxophone player was just like chewing it up. Yeah, like he was coming out beating it purple as Bill Paxton used to say. <laughs> right. Like he come out and do the saxophone and like and like looking at ladies and like you're, you're like. And we're like, all right, buddy, all right, all right, cool. This is Lionel's show. And a couple times, like you could see, like he was hogging. We saw Lionel just tap him on the back, <laughs> and you could see it on the big screen. He would like give him a pat, and like we were, yeah. la- we were like, "Holy shit!" He did the fucking pat again. Yeah. The get the fuck out of here, Pat. Sure. And the guy would walk away and like go back to the corner, <laughs> which was awesome. Which was awesome. Hey, yeah. sax player, don't yeah. overstep your boundaries, my friend. Yeah. Oh, night long. Yeah. See this guy? He's been stepping on my toes all night long. <laughs> all night. He like say you say me. Holy shit! Yeah. He played some of that. Fuck. Duck on you. Yeah. Now I'm on my way. Why did glad you stayed? I mean, it was it was tremendous, and you know, I told, and and we are the world. Yeah, my endless love. Dude, running with the night, we were running with the night. Right, sure. Throughout that whole thing, but then Lionel Richie came out mm-hmm. and butt fucked it. Really, dude. The crowd loved it. Lionel Richie is. Awesome. He is good. Like, you know what? There's a reason why he's a, a legend. Oh, yeah. And there are songs that, like, you're like, God, he sings that one too, huh? Right. And you're like, I knew he sung that one. Like, easy. He opened with easy. Yeah. Oh, isn't that in Baby Driver? What's the one in Baby Driver that the kid lip syncs to? Easy. 
Okay. Yeah. Right, so he opens that song. The place goes bananas. The place goes bananas. Yeah. I have the playlist. I'll, I'll give you the playlist. Don't, 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 don't. I don't want to hear your golf strokes. Don't worry about it. But then he shit. he does shit like between every song. Did he talk? Lionel, not only did he talk. Okay. But he butt fucked it. What, like he gave life advice and shit? I, t- I tweeted, I tweeted uh, some of his stuff. Like he came out, he, he was like, I ran into a, a 284 pound man came up to me and said, Lionel. 284. He knew that, huh? You weighed him? He just, you know, listen, just don't, you know, cut him some slack. He's Lionel's doing some, he's exactly ripping. 284 he, pounds. I'm telling you, after he played like 15 yeah. songs, yeah. after every song, he would, he would do a fucking a little monologue. Well, it's like literally he did like once, twice, three times a lady. And he fu- he just stood up off the piano off that and just like held his arms out and the place going nuts. And then he's like, I had a 200, goes right into the thing. He's like, <laughs> I had a 284 pound man come up to me and says, Lionel, I have made love to you so many times. <laughs> Wait, what? And Lionel, and, and he's like, and I said, no, you haven't. <laughs> and the crowd's like, what? And people are going. Fuck. I, you can hear like I've, I I taped it. You, you can hear me laughing. Yeah. And then uh, he's like, and then the, the the man's girlfriend came up to me and she said, "It's true, I was there." <laughs> and the crowd is just fucking loving it. And right. he's like, anyway, I got more stories for you. I'm gonna tell them to you all night long. Yeah. <sighs> all night and goes into that. Oh, uh-huh. all night long. I spent all day l- yesterday listening to Lionel Richie tunes. That's great. Yeah. Uh, now deep, deep like uh, old cuts or like the. The kind of big number one hits from the eighty. Kind of I put on Essential Lionel Richie yesterday on my iTunes. Okay, and jogged to it, and and uh, <laughs> and I wrote I you, wrote to it. You lifted weights to it. Yeah, dude, you could. <laughs> I almost I almost put on Lionel today when I went for a jog. Dancing on the ceiling. You could run to that. You can. What a feeling when you dance. And all night long, like everyone do street. Yeah. Uh, dancing, dancing in the, in the street. street. All night long. All night. All night. All night. Feel good. Feel good. Did he have a horn section? Oh well, he had. The band was super cheesy. He had a dude. Uh, you can look up Lionel Richie's saxophone player. Yeah. This guy would come at, like, the band was all, they were, like, ladies' men. Yeah. Well, something I realized, too, is, like, like Lionel Richie, I have to tell you, I've never, like, considered him, like, a good-looking guy or anything like sure. that. Sure. I'm like, oh, he's kind of a goofy-looking dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But when you see him live, you think about him totally differently. You're like, oh, no. Mm-mm. He's a, a cock swinger. <laughs> you're like, God, he sings that one, too, huh? Right. And you're like, I knew he sung that. Because I'm easy. He opened with easy. Yeah. Oh, isn't that in Baby Driver? What's the one in Baby Driver that the kid lip syncs to? Easy. Okay. Yeah. Right, so he opens that song. The place goes bananas. The place goes bananas. Yeah. I have the playlist. I'll, tell, I'll give you the playlist. Don't, 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 don't. I don't want to hear your golf strokes. Don't worry about it. But then he shit. he does shit like, between every song. Did he talk? Lionel, not only did he talk. Okay. But he butt fucked it. What, like he gave life advice and shit? I, t- I tweeted, I tweeted uh, some of his stuff. Like he came out, he, he was like, I ran into a, a 284 pound man came up to me and said, Lionel. 284, he knew that, huh? You weighed him? He just, he you know, listen, just don't, you know, cut him some slack. He's Lionel's doing some, he's exactly ripping. Exactly 284 he, pounds. I'm telling you, after, he played like 15 yeah. songs. Yeah. After every song, he would, he would do a fucking. A little monologue? Well, it's like literally he did like once, twice, three times a lady. And he fu- he just stood up off the piano off that and just like held his arms out and the place is going nuts. And then he's like, I had a 200, goes right into the thing. He's like, <laughs> I had a 284 pound man come up to me and says, Lionel, I have made love to you so many times. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and Lionel, and, and he's like, and I said, no, you haven't. <laughs> and the crowd's like, what? And people are going. Fuck. I, you can hear like I've, I I taped it. You, you can hear me laughing. Yeah. And then uh, he's like, and then the, the the man's girlfriend came up to me and she said, "It's true, I was there." <laughs> and the crowd is just fucking loving it. And right. he's like, anyway, I got more stories for you. I'm gonna tell them to you all night long. Yeah. <sighs> all night and goes into that. Oh, uh-huh. all night long. I spent all day l- yesterday listening to Lionel Richie tunes. That's great. Yeah. Uh, now deep, deep like uh, old cuts or like the. The kind of big number one hits from the eighty. Kind of I put on Essential Lionel Richie yesterday on my iTunes. Okay, and jogged to it, and and uh, <laughs> and I wrote, I you, wrote to it. You lifted weights to it. Yeah, <laughs> dude, you could. I almost, I almost put on Lionel today when I went for a jog. Dancing on the ceiling, you could run to that. You can. What a feeling when you dance. And all night long, like everyone do street. Yeah. It's dancing in the, in the street. street all night long, all night, all night, all night. Feel good, feel good. Did, did, did he have did, a horn did, section? Did, 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 did. Oh well, he had. Uh, the band was super cheesy. He had a dude. Uh, you can look up Lionel Richie's saxophone player. Yeah. 
this guy would come out like the band was all they were like ladies men yeah well something i realized too is like like lionel richie i have to tell you i've never like considered him like a good looking guy or anything like sure. that. I'm like oh he's kind of a goofy looking dude. yeah mm-hmm. but when you see him live you think about him totally differently you're like oh no Mm-mm. he's a, a cock swinger <laughs> is he? I mean, he's the lead singer of the commodore sure back in the day and he would talk about his 70s he, he comes out he's like you know you think you're gonna come here and see a real dignified show tonight uh-uh <laughs> <sighs> that ain't happening Four weeks. he he got a nose job and this is like, I, I don't know how much tech like uh, medicine has advanced since then but like mm-hmm. back then you got a nose job You had rings under your eyes for a long fucking time and bandages all over your nose. Like, that was... Right. And they had one nose they could give you. You know, it was like a standard (laughs) nose. (laughs) Right. And, and, uh, but we were all, you know, it was like, I think it was my senior year. We were all at a a, a bar in New York City and, um, underage drinking. And, uh, and Espinosa showed up. Yeah. His new nose. He was fucking... New nose. He was was fucking gorgeous. Oh, my God. And he knew it. He was gorgeous. Well, he... He looked like the mooch. But then it but then it, it hit him like girls were like all over him and like and he just he got drunk. Yeah. And he got drunk with power. Mm-hmm. And he In one night. He got into an this is it, this is his night. He unveiled the nose and he got into an argument with a guy and like you know, he was like f- so swollen with pride and the guy said, Let's step outside and fight. Mm-hmm. And I don't think he'd ever been in a fight before. He and he Oh, that knows. Yeah. He walked out in front of the guy. Yeah. The guy right behind him, he, with his back to the guy. He just walked out of the bar and he turned around, and the dude's fist was already there. Yeah, shattered his nose. His new nose. His brand new nose, shattered it. They had to they had to shave more nose away to fix it. Uh. And when he came back, he had like a little tiny cat nose. Oh my god! Like the guy in my Everest. It's this <laughs> is the this is the mooch. You know, it's like right. He, he was a guy. He had a moment. Yeah, and. He didn't know how to handle it. But the funny thing also is that he brought people down. Like, he got his moment, right? So he, for some reason, against the recommendation of all his people, Trump said, I'm going to pick this guy. He's going to be my guy. Yeah. And that caused Sean Spicer, the Sean Spicer, yeah. that everyone made fun of for six months, to resign. Yeah. That pushed Sean Spicer out of the whole fucking picture. Yeah. He's like, I'm out of here. And uh, and uh, fucking, uh, <laughs> and the other guy. the uh, Well, the, Priebus, and Ryan's Priebus, yeah. Yeah. But he was. He, I think he was going to be gone anyway. But like those two guys were casualties of the mooch, and then the next day the mooch is gone. Yeah. So it's almost like you lost for nothing. But you know the interesting thing about Spicer is that like there were a number of things that should have caused him to resign. Sure. He should have been gone a long time ago. I mean, that's a shitty fucking job. He was. Doing, oh yeah. Forced to do a lot of shitty things. Mm-hmm. It's interesting that this is this is the thing that he chose to hang his hat on. Yeah. But you know what? I think at the end of the day, he found his out. <laughs> I guess so. There was speculation that maybe he'll be back. Maybe he'll come back. You know, now that the mooch is gone, and then people were like, "No, he's not coming back." <laughs> it's really interesting. It's really interesting this political situation we find ourselves in because you still have a lot of people who are like, "He's doing a good job." You're just not being told the truth, and you're like, "Okay." Ah, come on. Who Spicer? I mean, oh, no, a, all of the. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Oh. I mean, Trump. Spicer, like right off the bat. I, I remember we were in... Ma- Did you tell him not to? And I was like, take that thing, go put it back in your fucking car, bring it home. That's your beer. I bet you told him just like that, too. I did. Like, all unpleasant. I did. I was like, don't, don't even open that. Just drink my beer. Okay? <laughs> and he did. And he, you know, he made a nice little dent in it. And uh, I was dent. happy. He made an Irish dent? Yeah, he made an Irish dent in that beer. I, and I was he, happy. I like, I like Pat. Like, Pat's not afraid to put a dent. No, on a Sunday night. Yeah. Yeah, he's, not, he's fine with it. He doesn't have kids, and he's thin. He can do relatively. Is thin. he thin? He's uh, I don't know. I always I don't, I don't in my he, mind. I always picture him as thin. Like, I don't think he's. Thin I always anymore. picture him as the, my th- my thin little brother. But actually, I think I he's think, fat Pat now. I think he might be fat Pat. And I think I think my son called him fat Pat the other day <laughs> to his face. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, he played thin Kevin in Club Dread. He did. That's the thing. That's why I, th- I part of I think it, like in the scene in Club Dread for the Chew Crew, the scene in Club Dread where I hide under the bed with Brit and uh I have to make myself like mystically thin to get to fit under the bed. Mm. What we did is we you know, the magic movie shot me on the ground. Then we took literally took my T shirt off, put it on Pat, who's the grip. Yeah. Who's on the grip crew, slid him into my spot and since he's thin, he was thin Lars. Yeah. So that's the way I think of him. Yeah. He's not anymore. 
That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> but the, he but, listens to this too. You know, he'll, he'll he knows it. He'll hear it. Pat knows it, and and not only that, but you know, here's the beauty about Pat. Yeah, Pat doesn't give a fuck. Okay. Pat doesn't give. He certainly doesn't give a fuck. Maybe. When Maybe I he's crying it. on the inside. Maybe that's he's crying really, on the inside. You know, he's he's like uh, he, you know, he puts on it like when I say something, he's like, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> right. Pat's always been a punk. Like like when we used to work out with our trainer together, and he'd come yeah. over and like taunt the trainer, and the trainer would just make him vomit. Yeah. And we'd be like, You're so, Why are you doing that? Why are you telling, talking shit to yeah, the trainer? Yeah. That was the day that uh, he started working out with you and me and the trainer. Yeah. And we were playing in the softball league. Yeah. And the trainer was in the area, and he came by to hang out and check out the softball game. So we sit in the stands. Pat came by to check out the softball game. Yeah. He sat in the stands with the trainer and then just pulled out a cigarette and lit it up and started smoking it. Yeah. Next to the trainer. Which you don't do. You don't do. You don't do that. No. And uh, the trainer, like, his eyes just went fucking wide, and he looked at Pat. He's like, are you seriously smoking a cigarette next to me when I'm going to work you out tomorrow? Yeah. Is that what's going on here? Yeah. And it didn't even phase no, Pat. No. He didn't even realize what he was doing. But that's no, he did. That's Pat's personality. <laughs> I don't right? think he did. He does. You know, you know, Pat. He's he's always he bucks authority. Like, and then what happened? He made him throw up the next. Yeah, time. and he came, I remember you and I watching <laughs> Pat pulling our trainer in the harness. Yeah, he had that, uh, that bungee cord sh- harness. Talking shit the entire way. Yeah, and then he collapsed. Yeah. Anyway, beer is delicious. It's delicious. It is. And and it's like I went to a concert this past. You did. Yeah, and also we've had a house guest. Okay. So there's so you were doing a lot. Shit. Like, I'm not gonna chase them around the yard anymore. They're, yeah. like, they're not scared. Yeah. Or any of that shit. <laughs> like what's up? But it's 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 funny to me that like we have some swings where it's like we do a live show and people are excited to do the meet and greet. Yeah. And then you, you with the other people and I really appreciate it who are like, oh this old fart. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking guy who dad's dad's partner he's an asshole. All right. Who that guy? Yeah. Who. Who, Tiffany's short husband? No. <laughs> that guy over there? All right, I guess so. So you're not, so not going to have a three-way then? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think Is so. Is it because you're too short? You know, she's actually a good girl. Okay. Like, she wouldn't... That's not a line that she would actually cross. Uh, okay, unless she was told she could. I mean, like, like my wife had some friends like that at UF that yeah. were definitely, like... Like, when I first started dating her, like, this is right after Beer Fest had come out. I was like, you know. Yeah. And uh, they were like, hey, hey, like, uh, you know, like. Can I get a piece of that? There were there were some <laughs> that were, like, out. Oh, we had a funny. I had a funny thing when I went to UF that, like, they took me to a bar. It was yeah. her and all her girlfriends. My yeah. wife, you know, used to work at Hooters. Right. <laughs> and I met her because I was judging that uh, the Hawaiian Tropic Bikini contest, <laughs> right, right. and a bunch of her friends were in the contest. Right, she wasn't in that contest. Right, and like, and I met her le- later that night at the after party. Right, and so like, those girls and I went went out, and I was the one getting the drinks. Yeah, and like like pictures were being sent, shots were being sent, and they were all being sent to me. And you know, and a couple of the girls actually got annoyed about it. Okay, why? Because it's usually them that are getting oh, the I drinks, see, and the, I was stealing right. their thunder. You were stealing their thunder, right? Okay. And that was that was. A, and they hate you ever since. That was a not no the, like, but I, but we were talking about it the other day. Like my wife, like one of them got mad, right, at my wife, right. Like she was, was just jealous. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like why is he getting all the drinks? Right. Just because the movies. That's what all these guys. Because he's like, a movie guy. Like literally, it's like all the dudes are paying attention to me. Right. And I think it's funny that like you right know, now it's like. Hey, Stevie, uh, the toilet's clogged. Yes, honey. Would you unclog the f- fucking toilet for me? Yo, man, you get the shit out of the pipe. <laughs> okay. Yeah, honey, sure. Okay. Remember those days when we did the bikini contest and everyone was buying me drinks? Those were the days, that weren't was, they? That was a fun time, wasn't it? Remember that time? No, not really. Nah. That was so long ago. <laughs> oh, you know what, though? Yeah. Like she leaves tomorrow. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go for it tonight. For the true crew, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take those girls out to dinner tonight. Okay. I'm going to fuck them. Steve Lemmy. Speaking of the short thing, can I uh, can I move to another thing? Do it, do it. The, speaking of the short, uh, the short guy. Yeah. Situation. Um, it's funny because like now, uh, I think we joked about him there week, but the mooch, the mooch has come and gone. Fucking mooch. The fucking Holy mooch has shit. come and gone. Okay. Let's keep it surprise. Couple sack. Okay. Um, Cliffy. Couple sack. I like the sound of that. Couple sack. Cliffy had to bail because she got a part in a movie. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah. Okay. So she so she bailed. Uh, what happened is my wife had to bail on, on the day of. Oh. Because she had agreed a month before to babysit for 
uh, my son's best friend. Like, yeah. It, it turns out what it was was the uh, the Lionel Richie concert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So wait a minute. Lionel Richie playing where? At the Hollywood Bowl. Really? Okay. And his opener. Yeah. Was Mariah Carey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. So first of all, that's got to be pretty good because like Lionel Richie has so many songs, dude. Like, you could sit there for, like, two hours and just listen to Lionel Richie songs. You'll know every song and all the words. Oh. And when you, and when you listen to them live, yeah. you realize just how awesome they are. <laughs> like, dancing on the ceiling. Sure. Like the place is going. Where are they? Fucking nuts. Is it all old people there or what? No, dude. There no. are no young people there. There's plenty of young people there. Like little kids? Were there any millennials there? There were a lot of millennials. I mean, look, there, there was like, cause you had Mariah Carey there, too. So okay, like, okay. There were a lot of Mariah fans. I only know like two Mariah Carey songs. Maybe. Like Maybe. I, I don't know. You know the one I know? Like if I heard them, I'd know them. I know the Christmas one. Okay. Where she's like saying, uh, I've been bad this year. Like I I'm, know. you know. Did you like, show up late so you could miss Mariah Carey or did you get there from Mariah Carey? No, I wanted to see Mariah Carey, too. Okay, but wait a minute. Let me take this back a second. So you had two women take the place of your women? No. So... <laughs> So my, you know, because my like Cliffy bowed out like a few days before, so she okay. had a girl. Uh, I don't, I don't know her last name. Her name is Mandel. She's going to be in the new Bobby Moynihan uh, TV show. TV show. Okay. And she's la- she's hot, Cliffy. Okay, that's not very nice. Okay. No, no, no. Pa- like her husband, pa- Paul, was saying that, like, because because Paul described her, he was like, "Oh, you're going to love this girl. She's funny, you know, very funny." And when I saw her, I was like, "It's young." It's young. A younger version of his wife. <laughs> yeah, version of his wife. <laughs> okay. And, and who was, was your date? Uh, Eric Levy. Oh, okay. I got him <laughs> okay. at the last minute. <laughs> okay. And then and so th- and then that girl Mandel. Yeah. Her brother came with his girlfriend. Okay. But so essentially, then it became like Basie and Levy and me talking, and then like the three of them kind of talking. But like, the three of us were at the Mariah Carey concert. <laughs> All right. So like, uh, so you know, Mariah Carey. It's the only opener I've ever seen who got her own encore. Okay. And, you know, places are going nuts for it. Like, there are a lot of Mariah Carey fans there only. Sure. Like, people left when Lionel Richie came out? No one left. <laughs> no one left. Because you, 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 something was very clear. Yeah. Mariah Carey's world famous. Yeah. She's a diva. She's mm-hmm. a superstar. Mm-hmm. But Lionel Richie is a fucking legend. That's a different level. You're right. Lionel Richie is like a... He's, he's an icon. Yeah. I mean, and uh, the trainer, like, his eyes just went fucking wide and he looked to Pat he's like are you seriously smoking a cigarette next to me when I'm going to work you out tomorrow yeah is that what's going on here yeah and it didn't even phase nah, Pat nah. he didn't even realize what he was doing but that's no he did that's Pat's personality <laughs> I don't man. think he did he does you know you know Pat he's he's always he bucks authority like and then what happened he made him throw up the next yeah time. and he came, I remember you and I watching <laughs> Pat Pulling our trainer in the harness. Yeah, he had that, uh, that bungee cord sh- harness. Talking shit the entire way. Yeah, and then he collapsed. Yeah. Anyway, beer is delicious. It's delicious. It is. And and it's like I went to a concert this past. You did. Yeah, and also we've had a house guest. Okay. So there's so you were drinking a lot of beer. A lot of. Oh, so you? Activity. I thought you lost eight pounds. I did. Okay. I've been exercising like. In spite of yourself, you lost. I've been eight pounds. exercising like crazy. Okay, got it. And watching my diet. Okay. Yeah. And drinking and trying to drink like light beer. <laughs> it's like eating diet cake. I know, but you know what? I know it's true. Uh, are you? What's the con? Are you going to talk about the concert or no? Oh yeah. So I went to. Uh, I went to. Um, it was supposed to be a sack event. Kind okay. Of. It was supposed to. It was kind of. Was, and sack event is is your buddies and you do like a secret activity club. Secret right? activity club. Right. Sack. Where what you get these your old buddies together. So like you you say like you ha- you have a, an event. Yeah. You don't tell anybody what it is. You say sack event. Saturday, meet at my house, 11 a.m. Yeah. Dress warm. Right, right. That's as much as you'll give. Sure. Or, you know, Saturday night. We're going Yeti hunting. Six o'clock. Could be. <laughs> okay. And everybody, you know. and, and <laughs> Right. Because, you know, it's like when you have f- friends, especially in Los Angeles where you have to drive everywhere, you say, like, hey, you want to go to the Dodgers game? People are like, nah. <laughs> right. You're like you want you want to go uh, you want to go do trapeze school? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> right, right. But if you say like it's a secret event, right. everyone's coming, you you're know, go- you're going. Time, people are going. Yeah. And it's it's cuz it's an event, it becomes right. an event. And so um so I had, uh, Carrie Clifford and Paul Basie were at my house. Okay. A couple weeks ago at the pool drinking beer. Okay. That they said, "Hey, we've got a a cool thing for a couple. But do you want to know what it is or do you want to come and like next Monday we were like, "No, let's do a sack." Okay. 
Let's keep it a surprise. Couple sack. Okay. Um, Cliffy, couple sack. I like the sound of that. Couple sack. Cliffy had to bail because she got a part in a movie. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah. Okay. So she so she bailed. Uh, what happened is my wife had to bail on, on the day of. Oh. Because she had agreed a month before to babysit for uh, my son's best friend. Like, yeah. It, it turns out what it was was the uh, the Lionel Richie concert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so wait a minute. Lionel Richie playing where? At the Hollywood Bowl. Really? Okay. And his opener yeah. was Mariah Carey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So Okay. So first of all, that's got to be pretty good because like, Lionel Richie has so many songs. Dude. Uh, thing with this uh, Fox News woman, Gilfoyle. Her name's like Gilfoyle. Okay. And... Uh, wait, wait, wait. She's not Fox and Friends, is she? No, I don't think she's Fox and Friends. No, but she's you know one of these dingbats who uh, was up to be you know potentially his spokesperson right, right. And, and whatever. She's one of those Fox people. And um, uh, anyway, there's a speculation that the Mooch and this Guilfoyle chick had were having had a thing going on. Yeah, and then somebody dispelled it. Uh, uh, with the quote like, "Oh no, she actually likes tall guys." <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mooch. And I thought of you, and I also thought of how the Thank mooch, you. you know, mooch keeps taking hits even after he's gone. The mooch, because well, now he's just the short asshole as opposed to just the asshole. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, it, listen, hey, he deserves it because, like, if you're if you're gonna be a short guy, yeah. If if you decide in life that you're gonna be a short yeah. guy, speaking from. Knowledge. Well, it's like you can't go around and call yourself the mooch. <laughs> I know. It. And you know what? There's not even a. It's not even a joke because he did in that New Yorker uh, interview. He was calling himself by the third person, the mooch. his nickname. Yeah. Not even Anthony this or anything that. It was when you de- when you deal with the mooch, you deal with the blah 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 blah, and you're like, what are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. You can't do that shit. <laughs> you can't do that shit. I'm. I'm sad and be- I mean, look. What we got out of him was pretty spectacular. Great. While it a was flame there. out. It was a great flame out. And even yeah, even you know the post mortem is still like, holy shit! Remember the fucking mooch? Yeah. And I, th- and it was also like you're still getting stories about when he w- when he had his job. He didn't really. He never really got the job. He was before he it was actually like, you know, started his tenure, uh, but he flamed out. But like there are these interviews coming out from last week about like uh, like the Washington Post or the Wall Street Journal had an interview and they and they had an interview with Trump in the room with the mooch. But the transcript came out and it's all like the you know, Trump going, Anthony's gonna clean this place up, right Anthony? You know it. It's gonna be great. He's gonna do this and that. Yeah, I'm gonna and then the next day he's fucking gone. <laughs> That's so awesome. That's so awesome. It's just like another like it's like I really wanted just a little bit more so we could have just had just another shining example of the buffoonery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But this is, it's it's good enough. He, Trump hired him because he thought he was the slick guy who could handle himself, and then it was just a cartoon version of that. Yeah. <laughs> Ten days. He was a, a buffoon. It was funny because, like, I think even the people who were, like, guarantee this guy doesn't make it, because a lot of people were guaranteeing he wasn't going to make it. Yeah. I think... Those people are surprised. Oh, I think every, yeah, everyone was shocked at how how quickly. But everyone, I don't. Even if you're a hardcore right winger or you're a Fox and Friends person or whatever it is, you gotta love the Mooch flame out. Nobody nobody liked the Mooch. Nobody likes the Mooch. No, but <laughs> done but the, it all. But the dude and 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 he's and he drills it. He sounds great. Yeah, and his songs are fucking great. Mm-hmm. And Can't get a guest to join him at the Hollywood Bowl. Though. Give me a fucking break. But maybe he didn't, maybe he didn't want him because he's like, no, nah, then I'll have to hang out with them yeah. afterwards. Nah, I don't want them on my stage. This is my stage. Well, it was funny too because like at some point, like you know, he's up on the big screen. Like the saxophone player was just like chewing it up. Yeah, like he was coming out beating it purple as Bill Paxton <laughs> used to say. Like he'd come out and do the saxophone and like and like looking at ladies and like you're, you're like. And we're like, all right, buddy, all right, all right, cool. This is Lionel's show. And a couple times, like you could see, like he was hogging. We saw Lionel just tap him on the back, <laughs> and you could see it on the big screen. He would like give him a pat, and like we were, la- we were like, "Holy shit!" He did the fucking pat again. Yeah. The get the fuck out of here, pat. Sure. And the guy would walk away and like go back to the corner, <laughs> which was awesome. Which was awesome. Hey, sax player, don't yeah. overstep your boundaries, my friend. Yeah. Oh, night long. Yeah. See this guy? He's been stepping on my toes all night long. <laughs> all night. He like say you say me. Holy shit! Yeah. He played some of that. Fuck. Duck on you. Yeah. Now I'm on my way. Why they glad you stayed? I mean, it was it was tremendous, and you know, I told, and and we are the world. Yeah, my 
endless love. Dude, running with the night. We will run mm-hmm. with the night. Right, sure. Dink, dink, dink. I mean, okay. d- dancing on the ceiling was forget it. That's the one where you're like, when's he going to play dancing on the ceiling? He's going to open with it. He's going to it's an encore. And then it's like he played in the right in the middle. So you're like, it's dancing. And you're dancing. He led that one. He, he's like, people, you're going to be, we're going to be dancing all. You're going to dance shoes. You're dancing on the floor, and you're going to be dancing on the ceiling. Like he would announce every song. All right. You, yeah, you had enough line. Yeah, I've had about enough of the line. I love it. Hello, hello. It's great. Is it me you're looking for? What do you got? I've been talking about lying out for a while now, Queen. I don't know. You were talk- what we were talking about also your, uh, your, your house guest. You got a house guest? I got a house guest. Yeah, my wife's, uh, my wife's roommate from graduate school. Yeah. They both went to University of Florida together. And she just had her chilling for a week? Gator girls. Living yeah, she, on your couch? She, uh, well, you know, we got a guest room. Oh, you do? And so she, uh, she, it up, she stays there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's like uh, she's hot. Okay. <laughs> You're just going to lay it down like that? Your college your wife's college friend. She's hot. She's living in your house. Yeah, and it's like, um, you know, it's just. Does like, that cause problems for you? Or I, I'll t- I'll say this. Like, it's the kind of thing where like she doesn't mind walking around like showing off. What do you mean naked? I, no, I shouldn't say showing off like that. But it's like like dude. She's not. I've known her now for a while. Sure. She's been out here a number of times. Yeah. She's comfortable. Mm-hmm. So it's like you know she'll come out and like. Uh, She'll come out in a panty and a, like a, a t-shirt or something like yeah. that. But so you know, like, but you know, we got the pool going, and so like, she, yeah. you know, we're in bikini. She's in bikini all the time. Yeah, you're in your back. Came by to check out the softball game. Yeah, he sat in the stands of the trainer and then just pulled out a cigarette and lit it up and started smoking it. Yeah, next to the trainer, which you don't do. You don't do. You don't do that. No. And uh, the trainer, like, his eyes just went fucking wide, and he looked to Pat. And he's like, "Are you seriously smoking a cigarette?" Next to me when I'm going to work you out tomorrow? Yeah. Is that what's going on here? Yeah. And it didn't even phase nah, Pat. Nah. He didn't even realize what he was doing. But that's no, he did. <laughs> that's Pat's personality. <laughs> I don't man. think he did. He does. You know, you know, Pat. He's he's always he bucks authority. Like. <laughs> and then what happened? He made him throw up the next. Yeah, time. and he came, I remember you and I watching <laughs> Pat pulling our trainer in the harness. Yeah, he had that uh, the bungee cord sh- harness. Talking shit the entire way. Yeah. And then he collapsed. Yeah. Anyway, beer is delicious. It's delicious. It is. And and it's like. I went to a concert this past. You did, yeah. And also, we've had a house guest. Okay. So there's so you've been drinking a lot of beer. A lot of. Oh, so you? Activity. I thought you said you lost eight pounds. I did. Okay. I've been exercising like. In spite of yourself, you lost. I've been eight pounds. exercising like crazy. Okay, got it. And watching my diet. Okay. Yeah. And drinking and trying to drink like light beer. <laughs> it's like eating diet cake. I know, but you know what? <laughs> I know it's true. Uh, are you? What's the con? Are you going to talk about the concert or no? Oh yeah. So I went to. Uh, I went to. Um, it was supposed to be a sack event. Kind okay. Of. It was supposed to. It was kind of. It was, and sack event is is your buddies and you do like a secret activity club. Secret right? activity club. Right. Sack. Where what you get these your old buddies together. So like you you say like you ha- you have a, an event. Yeah. You don't tell anybody what it is. You say sack event Saturday. Meet at my house. Eleven a.m. Yeah. Dress warm. Right. <laughs> right. That's as much as you'll give. Sure. Or, you know, Saturday night. We're going Yeti hunting. Six o'clock. Could be. <laughs> okay. And everybody, you know. Because, and, and, <laughs> right. you know, it's like when you have f- friends, especially in Los Angeles where you have to drive everywhere, you say, like, hey, you want to go to the Dodgers game? People are like, nah. <laughs> right. You're like, you, wa- you want to go uh, You want to go do trapeze school? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> right. right. But if you say, like, it's a secret event. Right. Everyone's coming. You you're know, go- you're going. Time, people are going. Yeah. And it's because it's, it's an event. It becomes right. an event. And so, um, so I had, uh, Carrie Clifford and Paul Basie were at my house okay. a couple of weeks ago at the pool drinking beer. Okay. They said, hey, we've got a, a cool thing for a couple. But do you want to know what it is or do you want to come? And like next Monday, we were like, no, let's do a sack. Okay. Let's keep it a surprise. Couple sack. Okay. Um, Cliffy, couple sack. I like the sound of that. Couple sack. Cliffy had to bail because she got a part in a movie. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah. Okay. So she, so she bailed. Uh, what happened is my wife had to bail on, on the day of. Oh. Because she had agreed a month before. To babysit for uh, my son's best friend. Like, yeah, it, it turns out what it was was the uh, the Lionel Richie concert. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So wait a minute, Lionel Richie playing where? At the Hollywood Bowl. Really? Okay. And we have like she was like, yeah, she's you know Vanessa, she's single. Mm-hmm. She's le- she's getting a little de- you know she's sad. She wants a man. She wants to settle down, have a baby. Yeah. And she's like, but most of all, she just needs to get laid right now. 
<laughs> and I was like, oh well, you know, why you send someone over there, Levy like, or something? Like that. I got some, I got some guys, but she, well, she's five ten. Okay, and so and she really likes dudes who are like six four. Jeez, okay, you don't know any of those. I don't know any of those, but so my wife said she just needs to get laid. She, okay, and I was like, oh well, you know, I mean, I'll, I, I don't know that many six four single single dudes. She's like, I know. I told, I just told her she should just fuck you. I was like, um. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Hello, <laughs> is it me you're, you're looking, looking for? for? I, I was like, that's one of those things where you, that you, the next logical question is, and what did she say? <laughs> 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 but as I then, but then you're also like, but that's a uh, that's a dangerous road right here, and you got to make this is a decision you need to make in like sure, I wouldn't know, but yeah, okay, one second, okay, you know, <laughs> you're like, I mean, this just suddenly gets po- thrown out there at you, sure. And you have to come up with the perfect response. Right. So as not to upset your wife, who might be joking. Yeah. Who might be joking, but who, might not. Who might also be <laughs> packing heat, you know. Like, right. But also might be opening a door for you. Could be. <laughs> could be. Because, you know, my wife and I have gone to strip joints together. Like, yeah. You know, like she, you know, it's like, I, and she used to make out with this girl. Like, that's, it's, sure. It's in her realm. Sure. So what was your response? I, I I was like, oh I yeah. Pa- I paused. I was like, oh yeah. All right. <laughs> That's what I. Did. Oh, you like, played it cool. Yeah, you, you played play it cool. cool. You can't be too interested. I, sure. I made it seem like whatever. Yeah. And uh, you're like, I wouldn't fuck with your dick. Yeah, honey. You can't do that. You can't say that. Whatever. I wouldn't fuck with your dick. <laughs> she she would if, if I said that she'd be like, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Look at those titties. That's what she would say. Okay. That's what she says about it. Right. She's like, she's like, Vanessa got those sweet titties. Does she say it like that though? Yeah, she does. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, so that's so there, that, there's that energy r- running around. I mean, like, okay, all right. I'm the only one feeling it. I don't think sure, because because sure. the, the truth of the matter is, yeah. The uh, the funny thing was, and this relates to something that happened here. Okay, is uh, sh- v- Vanessa was like, I was coming out here, and uh, a couple of people who I worked with were like, "Where are you going?" Sp- my friend, her husband, they live in L.A. Oh, what well, you know, he's an actor. What's he done? Um, did like a movie called Super Troopers Beer Fest, and she said like the people went fucking bananas. Right, right. And she was like, Stevie, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I just don't see you that way. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, no, I. And I play it off. I'm like, no, I like that. Sure. Even though I'm dying inside, I'm like, sure, I like that. She's like, I mean, she's like, I love you, Steve, but like, I'm not impressed by you. Yeah, I think of you as kind of dickless. <laughs> You're so. Why are you doing that? Why are you telling? Talking shit to yeah, the Yeah, that was the day that uh, he started working out with you and me and the trainer. Yeah. And we were playing in the softball league. Yeah. And the trainer was in the area, and he came by to hang out and check out the softball game. So we sit in the stands. Pat came by to check out the softball game. Yeah. He sat in the stands with the trainer and then just pulled out a cigarette and lit it up and started smoking it. Yeah. Next to the trainer, which you don't do. You don't do. You don't do that. No. And uh, the trainer, like, his eyes just went fucking wide, and he looked at Pat, and he's like, are you seriously smoking a cigarette next to me when I'm going to work you out tomorrow? Yeah. Is that what's going on here? Yeah. And it didn't even phase nah, Pat. Nah. He didn't even realize what he was doing. But that's, no, he did. <laughs> that's Pat's personality. <laughs> I don't man. think he did. He does. You know, you know, Pat, he's, he's always, he bucks authority. Like, <laughs> and then what happened? He made him throw up the next yeah, time. Yeah. And he came, I remember <laughs> you and I watching Pat pulling our trainer in the harness. Yeah. He had that, uh, and that talking, bungee cord harness. Talking shit the entire way. Yeah. And then he collapsed. Yeah. Anyway, beer is delicious. It's delicious. It is. And and it's like, I went to a concert this past. You did? Yeah. And also, we've had a house guest. Okay. So, there's so you've been drinking a lot of beer? A lot of oh, so you? Activity. I thought you said you lost eight pounds. I did. Okay. I've been exercising like... In spite of yourself, you lost I've been pounds. exercising like crazy. Okay. Got it. And watching my diet. Okay. Yeah. And drinking and trying to drink like light beer. <laughs> It's like eating diet cake. I know, but you know what? <laughs> I know it's true. Uh, are you? What's the con? Are you going to talk about the concert or no? Oh yeah. So I went to. Uh, I went to. Um, it was supposed to be a sack event. Kind okay. Of. It was supposed to. It was kind of. I was, and sack event is is your buddies and you do like a secret activity club. Secret right? activity club. Right. Sack. Where what you get these your old buddies together. So like you you say like you ha- you have a, an event. Yeah. You don't tell anybody what it is. You say sack event Saturday. Meet at my house, eleven a.m. Yeah, dress warm. Right, <laughs> right. That's as much as you'll give. Sure. Or you know, Saturday night we're going Yeti hunting. Six o'clock could be. <laughs> okay. And everybody, you know, and and because <laughs> right. you know, it's like when you have f- friends, 
especially in Los Angeles where you have to drive everywhere. You say like, hey, you want to go to the Dodgers game? People are like, nah. <laughs> right. You're like, you want you want to go uh, you want to go do trapeze school? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> right. <laughs> but if you say like it's a secret event, right. everyone's coming. You you're know, go- you're going. Time. People are going. Yeah. And it's it's because it's an event. It becomes right. an event. And so, um, so I, uh, Carrie Clifford and Paul Basie were at my house okay. a couple of weeks ago at the pool drinking beer. Okay. That they said, Hey, we've got a, a cool thing for a couple, but do you want to know what it is or do you want to come? And like next Monday we were like, no, let's do a sack. Okay. Let's keep it a surprise. Couple sack. Okay. Um, Cliffy. Couple sack. I like the sound of that. Couple sack. Cliffy had to bail cause she got a part in a movie. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah. Okay. So she, so she bailed. Uh, what happened is my wife had to bail on, on the day of. Oh. Because she had agreed a month before running around. I mean, like, okay. maybe All right. I'm the only one feeling it. I don't think. Sure, Because sure. the, the truth of the matter is, yeah. the, uh, the funny thing was, and this relates to something that happened here. Okay. Is uh, she, v- Vanessa was like, I was coming out here, and uh, a couple of the people who I worked with were like, where are you going? I said, my friend, her husband, they live in L.A. Oh, well, you know, he's an actor. What's he done? Um, did, like, a movie called Super Troopers, Beer Fest. And she said, like, the people went fucking bananas. Right, right. And she was like, Stevie, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I just don't see you that way. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, no. I, and I play it off. I'm like, no, I like that. Sure. Even though I'm dying inside. I'm like, sure. I like that. She's like, I mean, she's like, I love you, Steve, but like, I am not impressed by you. Yeah. I think of you as kind of dickless. She, well, she's just, she, <laughs> you know, I mean, she's taller than me. So she, she's like, All right. no, but she's, everybody she's, is. She's like, oh, shit. What <laughs> up? The Empire Strike Back. So she's like, uh, but she's like, she's like, I just don't see you. Like, she's just like, you're just Tiffany's husband to me. Like, right. And I've known you for a lot since you started dating. She's like, I'm not like, yeah. She's like, I'm not starstruck by you at all. You don't do shit for me, bro. Yeah. In my mind, I'm like, I'm smiling, laughing. I'm like, why don't you shut the fuck up? <laughs> but it's funny because like, I, I realized that like, it is an interesting life that we lead, you and I. Yeah. And it, and it, like it hit it. That was like. Two days ago, walking into your house today, like I ran into your daughters. They were about to go to the library. Yeah, and like, and the thirteen-year-old one, yeah, was sitting shotgun with the door open. Mm-hmm. I spoke. I spoke to the younger of the two. Right. And what are you doing? She's like, going to the uh, library. And I was like, that's cool. And I was like, how you doing over there? <laughs> and she's like, hey. And like, I realized that like every time I see your oldest daughter now, right, that she's like, oh hey, yeah. Like they don't give a fuck. They don't about me. They used to because they knew that you were a guy that they could karate chop. Yeah. But now they're at the age they don't give a fuck. No, shit. they don't give a shit. Like yeah. I'm not gonna chase them around the yard anymore. They're yeah. Like, they're not scared. Yeah. Or any of that shit. <laughs> like what's up? But it's 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 funny to me that like we have some swings where it's like we do a live show and people are excited to do the meet and greet. Yeah. And then you, you with the other people and I really appreciate it who are like, oh, this old fart. Yeah, <laughs> that fucking guy who dad's dad's partner he's an asshole. Right, who that guy? Yeah, who who Tiffany's short husband? No, <laughs> that guy over there. All right, I guess so. so. You're not so you're not gonna have a three way then. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think. Is so. it because you're too short? You know, she's actually a good girl. Okay, like she wouldn't. That's not a line that she would actually cross. Uh, okay, unless she was told she could. I mean, like, like my wife had some friends like that at UF that yeah. were definitely, like, like when I first started dating her, like this is right after Beer Fest had come out. I was like, you know, yeah, and uh, 